reason why this podcast sucks and we have no fans is because Rick and Dan Duper talk way too goddamn much. Are. You realize we've been doing this for two years? Like, um, we thought back in our lives some, on what we've some done would for say two years too long. I was about to say, true, I think you are. True. So, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello. So, something spectacular so happened are, today. Yeah. Do you know what it was? So, Rick. Uh, okay. It's got to be NASA. Spectacular nope, happened today. Okay. Because we're going to talk about that. Yeah, but not um, right now. You know what okay. else happened today? Calligraphy called you and said you're doing amazing. No. But I do have calligraphy poops. So those things are ferocious. But okay. anyway, are you taking today, Greg? No, uh, at least two. Dude, I've taken and four maybe times. maybe at least one or two more. Lee, why no. have you shit four times today? I, I don't know. I had to shit four times today. Okay, you saw how you know, you had a big ass. <laughs> you know what day. happened? You know what happened today? What happened? What happened? We Gregory? started the show on time. What? <laughs> Woo! Woo! We worked yeah. the technical glitches out, and Everybody Rick is good. actually here. Duper's actually here. Art and Josh and Lee and myself are here, and Whoa. we're on time. Duper, I'm, I miss smoke. hearing your voice. I just want so, to throw that out there. Last week, there was a show without Rick or I on it. Yes. Yeah. It was a, It was probably the best show we've ever had. Wow. It was very funny, dude. You yeah. should go back and watch it. It was great. It was it's great, great Every, when the talent's not on the show. And then everyone, got, <laughs> everyone got to talk. You know, Josh said a lot. He won. He yeah. won. A, he won the game. That's twice in a row. It was good. You won a game. Yeah. Okay. In all fairness, I was tied with him. We had. But he to, still won. We had still... to go opposites. It's bullshit. It should have been my. T- nope. I win. I win. I demand a, re- a recount. Okay, Lee. We'll just say the Jew won and leave yeah, it. Yeah. Let's that. just say God. the Jewish race won, and that's and we're all <laughs> it's happy. Not a fucking race, Rick. <laughs> I hear jealousy. <laughs> hold on. Jews won. Everyone else zero. Well, hey. hold on, Rick. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> you got a light. Like. <laughs> oh, louder oh, with the louder. Here you, we you've go. already offended me. You've already offended me at the beginning oh, of the show. Jesus. Is so... that what the light is? <laughs> yeah. Is the light, like, whenever you offend light? me. So oh, Duper has an, an, an I'm offended light now. It's a red light yeah. in circles. <laughs> I don't. I don't want you. I want you to use it a lot, but I also don't want you to call it out every time. I just want to know that I'm offending you by seeing the light. It's going to burn out the first show. <laughs> what can i do to get that light to go off one more time before we start this show oh there's no doubt you're gonna you're gonna say plenty of offensive or... can you <laughs> hey rick can you yeah. tell me about the history of mongolia oh goddamn mongolia oh. <laughs> and a chong 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 yeah did that work yeah, it worked. There it is. Yeah, it worked. Here comes the light. There it is. Oh, I think you need like some. I think it's too far away from you. I think you need a a, a way to activate it much more sooner than what you did. Yeah, yes, maybe right there. You, there, you know, I think your head. Yes. He, oh he, my god. Yeah, he needs it as a helmet. <laughs> he needs a helmet, as if he was like a safety hall monitor, no, but for triggeredness. Duper, when when you were a young little sod off, did you wear a helmet with that kind of light? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, <laughs> what did you call him? <laughs> you called him a sod, sod off, off human. <laughs> 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 well, because we can't say the R word, so <laughs> so you say uh, sawed off, sawed off human, sawed like off, sawed human. off like a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not not quite a wow. full shotgun. Not, not oh. quite there. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, dupe. I'm gonna need you to send me the link where you got those red lights because I think I want some, and Josh should probably get one. And Lee, I and thought then, of like yeah. getting like an air horn too, but <laughs> yeah, dude, it's week. hockey season now. <laughs> yeah, get, get, like, get like a reggaeton horn so we know that you're having at least having a good time. <laughs> oh my god! You know what's funny is we were talking before the show. Like, all right, what are we gonna lead off with? Because of that, I've forgotten what we were going to do tonight. <laughs> you were talking about an asteroid. Oh, yeah. I, I, I remember we are going to lead off with with uh, the Raiders being mathematically eliminated oh, that's from, right. from the playoffs already. Yeah, yeah we don't up on football with 14 games to go. Dude, I spent so much money at the Raider Image Store a couple weeks ago <laughs> on my Behind the Signs tour of Allegiant Stadium. Behind the Signs? Behind the Signs tour, yes. I, I speak, like, like, do they just get you behind the street signs? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is Raider Stadium. It'll be ten dollars, <laughs> please. These are, these, these are your, your, your season. Your muggings. Season, 
your season ticket seats will be directly behind the scoreboard. You can't see anything, but you're there. <laughs> behind cool. the signs. So glad. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not get season tickets because like, season's, season's already so over. You're big enough. Can, can you be the zero in our scoreboard? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, you spent a little bit yeah. of money. Um, a lot of money. Why, why did you give not up a little bit? A lot of money. Huh? Why have you given up on your Raiders? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, and I just like. I just like to pick a team that consistently breaks my heart each and every season, even though they give you little glimmers of hope. Um, but yeah, they're already 0-3. Um, now, only one of those losses was to somebody in the conference, but yeah, dude, they, they're done. Well, they're if you're a glutton for punishment, wouldn't that mean you're going to ride it out till the end? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I guess that's true, but I got other things that disappoint me in life, too. So, I mean, I, you know, I can I only pick you. and choose so much. 22 Wait, years I watched the Rams lose. you ate after they went 0-3? <laughs> huh? Cheesecake. Can you what? tell me what kind of cheesecake you ate after after they went 0-3? Um, to kind of like, you know, help the pain? Or how many? <laughs> <laughs> they were all made out of my tears. That's all I can oh, say. Oh, so they are pretty yeah. salty. Yeah. It's pretty mm-hmm. fucked up. Greg had lost 30 pounds, and now he put it all back on after that one game. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all three games, dude. What are you talking about? We're Owen well, chins. It's really not. I mean... <laughs> You know, Art's really nice. happy about football right now. If you look at his smile, look at his face. I mean, he's so excited. He's his gleaming. Miami Dolphins are fucking undefeated. It's it's the polar opposite right now. We're yeah. three and zero, oh. and they beat the best team in the NFL. Literally the best team in the just NFL. barely because they because of poor uh, you know clock management. Yeah, uh, Miami should have lost that game. Who is the best team the in the NFL? Too. Oh, that'd be the Buffalo Bills, but they didn't play the Buffalo Bills. They played the second string Buffalo Bills, so it's a different. <laughs> we we played game. the Buffalo Bills from like five six years ago. Yeah, because they whoa, were all whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so the NFL has time machines now? I'm not understanding. No, the time yeah. machine is called an injury report. Yeah. And basically, they, they got to play Their whole Josh secondary was, was, yeah. playing, was injured. So. Yeah, because can the Raiders take that time machine back to 2002 and then like totally like prevent the tuck rule from ever happening? But Gruden's still racist at that time, isn't he? I think once you're racist, you're always racist, right, Greg? I think he... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get him a light. God damn it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, fucker. I'm learning. got a light going. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, we're doing okay, though, so I I'm not giving up on the season because my championship Rams. Huh, Josh? Our championship Rams? Mm-hmm. You've talked more about the Bills so far than you have your Rams. So which oh, are you fucking? He's, he's, he's got a huge, dude. huge boner for huge. Josh Allen. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, um, it's stupid. Huge. I'm gonna make some breaking news. Buffalo is not going to the Super Bowl this year. No. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Why? Based on what knowledge? Time machine. Based on me just saying it. <laughs> Who's going to the Super Bowl? The Browns. All right, going. Hey, uh, Lee, clip that and then send it to me later so I can play it in February. All right, the Browns are going all the way. The Browns are going all the way. They're already <laughs> zero three. So I'm gonna say they already uh, win. Uh, <laughs> no, they're one and two. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, won, so the won. only the only the records that I know or standings that I currently know is Miami's three and zero, and then the Raiders are zero and three. That's all I currently know, know because that's that's what's been said on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kansas City, Kansas City. Okay, yeah. okay. Yep. And then who else? Browns. It's gonna be a repeat. It's gonna be a repeat of a couple of years ago. Tampa Bay's going back. That mm. really? Did you have you yep. seen Tampa Bay this year? No, no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yes, fucking, no. Just fucking Tom Brady looks like a recovering crack addict. Yeah. He he fucking Welcome looks back. like he is going through a divorce. Like <laughs> he looks like Duper. He looks like Duper. Oh, <laughs> he, he looks he looks bad. Giselle doesn't even oh, come guys. to the games anymore. Thank you. Legit. He's actually nice going guys, through that. You guys just <laughs> compared me to Tom Brady <laughs> physically. So I'm I'm gonna take that as a W. So you don't I would too. Tom Brady. <laughs> oh god, here Thank we you. go. The only thing we're gonna see is duper goat oh. shit all the time. Oh, oh next Dude, week all it's gonna be is Tom Brady. Right now. Browns are going all the way. I'm calling it now. This oh, whole Browns wall are back one? here. Yep. This whole oh, wall is gonna be nothing but Tom Brady pictures next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be what? mostly Tom Brady wearing his MAGA hat, right though? Yeah, just me and him, uh, both together in pictures. I'm gonna superimpose myself in the pictures with Tom Brady. There you go. Oh, I thought I you were that. gonna do it. I mean, can I like be in the photos as Giselle or no? You could be my Giselle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, I know I don't stack up to the level well, of Shakira, but well, yeah. you're 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 gonna be Giselle after he's after he's done. You know, I just I just cheesecakes. 
<laughs> oh, oh, the Jizz cakes. Cakes. oh, I would I would give Giselle Jizz cakes. Trust me. <laughs> like, Greg's like, did you say cake? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just programmed to ignore everything else before or after cake. That's all. <laughs> so, uh, oh my God. <laughs> we've got some some people on the live here. Uh, we have Miami and Philly. That's that's a guess out there. So we have that on recording. Who the fuck is well, Philly? Philadelphia still playing football? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're actually doing really well. The they are. Oh, Preston, co-host it's of the Philadelphia. Uh, Sports Philadelphia. Take warning, all things sports, by the way. Dropped an episode today. Uh, but Preston, yeah. Twats, uh, Preston Twats from Twats is in there morning, watching right now. All things sports. Twats? He's upset that we're talking about the Rams, and I'm sure he's now upset that Albert, uh, dear listener. Uh, Who cares? He uh, he picked Philly over over the Cowboys. Same division, so that's a good time. I, I picked the Giants to, the, to win the that division. Uh, there's a game going on right now, and it is horrible. Like It, it yeah. is Dallas and New York. Nobody cares about this. Yeah. Why, why is that a primetime game? I don't know. Who knows? Two no, big markets. Cares. All I know is that it's really hard to sell Dallas tickets when Dak Prescott's injured. Yeah, so he it's might not be that hard. Cowboy, Cowboy fans are. He might be radical. back that week. Next week. Next you week. Oh, oh yeah. You, you should have sold those tickets before the before the season started. I know when people were stupid. I don't, I'll I don't give know. you five thousand dollars. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why Dallas you held Cowboys. on to them. Well, because I didn't know. I've never done this before. So since this is not twats, uh, let's move on. <laughs> uh, oh, no, so you guys are a we'll, bunch we'll, of twats. We'll, we'll stay in the sports realm. Rick, you wanted to talk about Brett Favre? So Favre. Let's talk about Brett Favre. Uh, Favre. Since we, we actually did talk about this on twats a bit, um, but I'm sure we're going to have a different perspective here. So it's kind of nice to see the well-roundedness here. Has anybody looked into the story around it? And, well, you know, here's, here's real, real honest. What do you know about this Brett Favre story of him taking money? Do you want me to read an article? No, no, don't read the article. <laughs> no, like off the top, off the cuff, right now. This is part of a point I'm trying to make. Well, what if we don't know what happened and we exactly. need Duper to give us the content? Well, we're here to tell you. We're going to give you the information. But what okay. I wanted to point out is this shit has not been as broadcast as it could be. There are a lot of articles out there. People are reporting on it. They, they've been talking but... about this for at least a few months. Like, they, I don't know they, why this just it was blew hush, up right hush. Now. It was it all blew up because uh, people went to jail or, uh, came, or were pled guilty and okay. were actually charged. So the the former governor and this chick Nancy New, I think her name is something yep, like yep, that. New. Uh, she she actually pled guilty to like seventeen federal charges just this past week. And what part of that is that they're rolling on Favre and showing how he was trying to manipulate some of this money, and that's been coming out as but, soon you know as recent as today. But here's here's um, the issue that I have with this and and. I'm not well, a lawyer, and I've not. Before we I've get not... into the opinion, okay, what actually happened? Because I don't think we've actually said that. Okay, so Brett Favre was trying to get funding for a volleyball uh, uh, arena, right, or facility mm-hmm. for the school that his daughter was going to in that Mississippi. He went to. It's his alma mater. His, so... his as well, right, and then yeah. also the governor Bryant, who was the governor at the time of this scandal, he also went to that same school. Um. So he was trying to lobby them to put this, put money into this this facility, um, mm-hmm. and then they they redirected money from a welfare program into the stadium or into the facility, uh, and some of that money went to Brett Favre and, and his foundation. Here, here's, the, but Brett Favre has paid the money back. One point one million was given to him directly, but the state audit says. That that he paid the money back, and they're saying he still owes two hundred twenty thousand dollars, two hundred twenty eight thousand in interest. Um, but he paid the money back, so so it's not necessarily. So what you're talking about that one point one million dollars. Uh, if you follow the timeline in 2016, the governor that then governor there, uh, mm-hmm. I think his name was Bryant, right? Right. At, yeah. So Bryant uh, passed a law that where it, basically they were funding a program for for. Um, poor people for welfare it was a welfare program that was going to have about I, I can't remember how much but it, it wound up turning into a misspend uh, miss expenditure of 77 million dollars total from that five million he had worked out with brett Favre to be a grant for a volleyball facility where his daughter brett Favre's daughter was currently playing volleyball so they put right. five million dollars and they built that facility additionally when they figured out that they were going to need more money for that facility Brett Favre, and they have text messages of him talking about this. Well, I, I don't asked have for, yeah, he so he asked for an additional like million bucks he needed, and no. he offered to do a PSA for the welfare program 
in exchange for a million dollar buyout. Right. And, and, the, the, and that was news months that. ago. That was months right. ago that that came right. out. That part, that one million dollars. But that's why he paid it back so quick. And the fundraising. Yeah. Yeah. So he he had to pay that money back immediately or he knew he right. was in trouble because they opened the investigation months ago. Right. Now that now that it's coming to light, because his story from the very beginning was I didn't know it was public money. I didn't know it was welfare money. I had no I've, idea where any of that went. That was his argument when they sat right. down with the FBI several months ago. Now it's coming to light. Brett Favre knew where that money came from. Unfortunately, they did a lot of shit in writing for some reason, like in emails and texts in, in their conversations. And a lot of that shows like Brett Favre actually asked this this lady, Nancy, knew, hey, if the media were to find out where this money for uh, came from, how much trouble would we be in? Well, um, I, I have the exact quote. Um if you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where it came from and how much? So Brett Favre wrote that on August 2nd, 2017. Have you moved into, have you looked at the 2020, I think it was 2020. I just read about this today and learned about this today. Um, and this came out in the uh, depositions and they gave the hard evidence over, but there was an email trail between him and Bryant and then the current mm -hmm. governor where he wanted to build a facility for football. He was trying to recruit Deion yep. Sanders' son and build a brand-new football facility. And he's like, hey, why don't we just use the same money again? And uh, Brian at that time said, dude, that might be a federal crime. I don't want – we can't do that. But he kind of kept edging, that. right? And he went to the new governor, uh, and the new governor's like, I've told him like 100 times, well, we're not doing – we're not breaking Brian, the law like that. Brian, we are going to get there. He texted back, uh, this was a great meeting, but we have to follow the law. I am too old for federal prison. Smiley face, sunglasses emoji. Yeah. <laughs> but, but were the documents classified or not? In his head. <laughs> in his head. <laughs> and that's what that's, he's yeah, he got rated right? his house. He uh, told the yeah. Brett Favre was like, I thought this was classified. I thought this. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you can't know, disclose he's, that. It's top secret. He's not the president, and he doesn't Good have question. that power to do that, Rick. What, what school is this again? Southern Miss, University of Southern Miss. Oh, so in Mississippi? Yeah. So, um, that, that Southern kind of, Mississippi. Have, that kind of tracks. I, I, I'm not fully knowledgeable in the entire situation, right? All we have is, is the, the information from the media. Um, I think that this governor should definitely be criminally liable. I don't know why they're using him as leverage to get after Favre. Favre is just a big name in this. Um, but Bryant is definitely the one that should be serving the harshest penalty here, right? As the I think um, knew, but Bryant, uh, she was the one that manipulated the grants, yeah, the verbiage and the grants. Here. Like the it's grants right, to the I think, make it work where she thought it would be okay. She yeah. put in there that we're going to build the volleyball facility, but we get to use one room whenever we need to for uh, job training. <laughs> that's all they put, like shit like that. It's like, eh, that's a lot of money to to rent a room, you know. So. Is volleyball that huge of a sport that they need whole new arenas and everything? No, that's that's the reason that why was... they needed welfare money to buy it. Exactly. <laughs> like, okay. I, I, I thought you just go in a sand pit somewhere, and then there you go. There's your fucking volleyball area. Yeah. So that that's. I, I was curious if you'd have a different perspective. I, I I figured Duper would have something there. Tell me how Brett Favre isn't culpable for manipulating this situation. Because he's a private citizen, it's not his money to allocate and to reallocate, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I from the evidence, it does sound like he is uh, very unethical. Um, and if he knew where this money was coming from, which I, I don't know if it says that directly in anything that I've read, um, because he continues to deny any wrongdoing through his lawyer, uh, and he did not know this, where the state grants came from. So he hasn't. He does have the ability to plead some some ignorance um, in this situation as a private citizen. The the government officials do not. So uh, duper. So so duper. So what can we do to encourage state and elected officials to give us money for a take warning network arena? I don't want to get in that kind of trouble. And see, that's what? exactly the issue. See, so Greg, uh, we'll do PSAs pulled, and Greg, talk Greg about just pulled stuff. a Brett Favre right now. Should he go to prison? I just caught that too, and I'm a little upset. Who did you text message like? If the media finds out, will this be? <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck, Greg? I want to. I want to point out a couple things. Like, and I think this is why it it hits harder. Right, the situation hits harder. If you Google just right now, jump in Google and put poorest state in the United States. 
The poverty rate in Mississippi is the highest. The median household income is the lowest. The unemployment rate is the highest. And uh, higher education attainment is only at 24% of the population. Life so expectancy there is the lowest. It's the worst state in the entire United States. Whoa. So did suffering. you just back off of Alabama or no, Arkansas, they're fucking, whoever you they, always shit on? Since I can't say the R word, they are very, very sod it's off. It's like there. 1A, 1B. So, yeah. But Mississippi, see, the thing is, Mississippi, there's nothing but nice people. I've been to Mississippi, and I fucking loved that state. Like, the people okay. there were amazing. But they're living in some really harsh conditions. Like, probably, I mean, just look at what the fucking happened with their water in Jackson. I mean, like, they live in, in shit. And then they get a chance. You know, there's money there. And they're like, hey, we're going to put this money aside for the poorest people here, which I can't even imagine what the poorest people in Mississippi are compared to another state, because that's fucked up. And then they're like, ah, but you know what? Brett Favre's daughter needs a volleyball facility that's state of the art, which he got. He was on his radio show on Sirius, and he was talking about how amazing and state of the art this fucking volleyball facility is and how they you know, put in hot and cold baths and they have you know, special training facilities and all this shit. And he's like he's talking about something where that money could have been allocated differently to actual poor people people no that needed it. so uh, like that's why i'm i'm, I'm I think that's principle, why i'm irritated with it right on principle i'm not going to argue with you on this uh because I, I i fully agree with you college coaches getting paid millions of dollars to, to coach 100 percent a, a bunch of children isn't where that money is best spent not not in public funds um schools like state-sponsored schools should not be spending that much money on any sports facility uh I, especially in a state like mississippi um, so I don't agree with that money going towards all these sports in the first place, even, even if, if it's been allocated towards the sports programs. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, totally. dude. I agree. Fuck yeah, bro. I concur. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah I was, so, I was so, reading yeah. the notes. I'm not going to so, lie. I'm, I was looking at the, uh, the, uh, chat, making um, sure we're catching up. So Joe Rogan, how does this apply to him? Cause, <laughs> cause, cause well, we, Joe got, Rogan, we, we got Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan goals, man. I just want to see how I was trying surprised. to get a, uh, a UFC gym also inside the volleyball gym. Oh, so he's like, can I just get an octagon guys? It's only going to cost $7 million. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Come on guys. We, we're gonna I just want to wrestle guys popular. naked in here and, you know, do shows. Oh, oh a uh, little hey, update. Whoa. FYI, Deion Sanders uh, son, who was like the top quarterback recruit in the country at the time. Uh, he wound up going to play for Deion Sanders. So I don't of know what Brett Favre was thinking. Like, Oh, if we build him the facility, he needs to think it's a nice school. They'll you come here. Like you Fucking idiot. You obviously never saw Field of Dreams. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, if I'm going to go with my dad. They will come. They will come. Yes. Yeah. Here here except, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's something to keep watching. I, I was just curious if you guys had a different All opinion on it. But stealing public money, regardless, I, it's unethical. I, if there's something illegal there, then they need to be held accountable, including Brett Favre. I just want to I just want to take warning network arena. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know what it is? It's Josh's it's a, garage because it's massive. <laughs> <laughs> we could fit fit an octagon in there. Oh, oh, let's, do oh let's, let's do it! it. Who has a fourteen hundred well, square foot garage? Well, we're gonna that guy. He does. <laughs> nope, it's only twelve hundred guys. Oh, oh my oh, bad, my oh, bad. Oh, okay. see, I said it bigger just so he had to correct it, and that, it's still that fucking garage, massive. That garage is bigger than most houses in Mississippi. That's Dude, that's you. the size of like a quad quad. What do they call that when you have like two duplexes side by side? Like four families living in it. That's a, a multi-family fucking building. Josh, I, I, think, I think your garage is the size of my actual house. It was bigger than my old house. <laughs> wow. It was. Said. It was. So uh, I, I think Brett Favre needs to be investigated. And if there's any criminal wrongdoing, then, of course, he needs to pay the penalty for that. I think that the public opinion is, is a little bit premature in this entire thing. Uh, Brett Favre is a big name, and uh, he's been an outspoken conservative, so he's an easy target. Yeah, because he's totally. a conservative or he broke the law? I don't think he's a conservative, is he? Oh, absolutely he is. Yeah. Do we know? Do we even care? Hey, I don't hey, think I've ever heard him be political. Oh, absolutely. He's very political. Is he? You think that has to do he's with He's from Mississippi. How, they're not even educated. I, I, we think, just learned I, that. I think that has very little to do with what's going on. Yeah. Never trust okay. a person from Mississippi to say something smart. Obviously. Oh, I just read that. God. This is true. Like the whole South is just a bunch of sawed off humans. <laughs> Damn. Sawed off Cooper, it's like muting like, you guys. Like, yeah. Cooper, you're going right. mute. Uh, <laughs> I, <Shit>. I, <laughs> ah, man. They're like the Honduras of, of America. That's what So, it Rick. <laughs> Rick. I, I would assume yes. Yeah. Rick. <laughs> what? Rick. Greg. So, what did NASA do today that Something took crazy, months Greg. and years? 
something crazy. 17 years it took him to get this project done. They, they had this crazy idea. And if you do the timing, you're like, okay, 17 years ago, that puts us at like 2004, 2005. They were working on the concept from around 94 to 98. You know what happened? They watched the movie fucking Armageddon. And they're like, all right, guys, I don't think we have Bruce Willis in 20 years when we need him <laughs> to, to take care of an asteroid coming to kill us. So what are we going to do? And then someone got smart and they're like, all right, well, we can't blow it up because that'll create more things as we saw in Deep Impact recently. So they were like, <laughs> <laughs> like recently, right, well, what if, 17 years what, ago. What if we just try to move it? So their plan was to create DART, right? And uh, I don't, did you bring up the uh, the thing? Because I can't remember. It's what up right now and I'm ready to play the video. Double, uh, let's bring that video up while we're talking about What it. does DART stand for? God damn, I knew you were going to do that. Dumb that. ass Rick up. something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking it up right Dumb now. Dumbass like, Rick talking. Double fucking. Dumbass Rick Oh, tarted. double asteroid redirection <laughs> test. Tarted. So Rick this tarted. is our first. This is our first uh, planetary. It's our first planetary defense test. Like we, we've <laughs> never done this before, well, right? So, so in, in I'll, I'll, I, you know me and my conspiracy theories. There's actually an asteroid that's going to come dangerous close to the United States or to the, <sighs> but the planet. Oh, just the United is. States. I forget nobody. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck the rest of them. <laughs> That's okay. right. I forgot. In, uh, in Duper's America, nothing fucking okay. matters but America. Russia uh, was like, whoo, glad there's no some liberal <laughs> asteroid coming from America. Everybody so, in Canada's like, they're fucked down there. So, but but do, you, do you think this is this is uh, in response to that asteroid? Do you think they're gunning just straight from Mississippi and Brett Favre's like, well, I know you needed money to protect yourself, but. That's why you had to buy the facility. I need some to be tennis courts proof. now. <laughs> I want some to come proof. to the school. Yeah. It's like 20. 20- 20 stories how under come, the ground. Hey, Rick, how yeah. come every time NASA does a mission, everybody has to be in color-coded shirts? Why are they uh, all in the same color SpaceX polo shirts? SpaceX does that black shirt. Because it's called Nerds. Unity, Greg. It's called Nerds. Unity. Nobody cares. It's darted. Uh, they got the purple <laughs> shit at Virgin. It's <laughs> 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 iconic, Greg. Darted. It's, it's not sawed off anymore. <laughs> so Dart. Dart goes straight into this comet. I can't remember his name. What was it? Like, there was two, two or comets. There were two asteroids side by side, and oh, it went to CIA? one of the asteroids. Huh? Omicron per CIA? That would have been amazing. That's a planet, though. We gotta, yeah, same we gotta throw that out there. That was a planted. Yeah, plant, yeah, planted. yeah, yeah planted. But, it, but it's also God a planet from a cartoon. We're talking like you could use it. But da, da, da. Um, anyways, it's sawed off. Rick. Dimorphos. That's what it slammed into. It slammed into Dimorphos. Thank you, Duper. You're um, Duper you in the see, clutch. What you're, uh, what for, you're for our in audio video, listeners, I, I just gave Rick the uh, English is for everybody beginner <laughs> course. That if Greg like, got him last Christmas. Those in the live that are watching the video right now, what they're watching is an actual live cam Polos. that they had on the uh, on the the satellite that they shot into this fucking asteroid at like fourteen thousand miles an hour, and it was sending back these clips. Every hold on, hold on, Rick. Seconds. You know what that looks like to me? What a Hertz rental. <laughs> like <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks, like, looks a like a Hertz, Hertz rental. rental station. Like they're just gonna start selling or, or renting out. Cars oh, you mean the office moment. itself? Yeah. Well, <laughs> just the way that they're all dressed. Maybe no. a Best Buy. It looks like a Best it, yeah, Buy. It looks like a Best Buy. Geek Squad. And yeah, all yeah. it says on their shirt is Dart it's, because it was part of John Hopkins. It wasn't really like it was NASA, but whatever. Oh, 17,000 miles an hour. It was 14 when I was reading it. But either so, way. So does Space Force take this over as like a hey, super cat? Space mission? Force has actually been working in collaboration with NASA to do this. Correct. Mm. So, mm. yes, they, they did have uh, a piece of this. So they is this did... Space Force's first successful mission then? No, it's still NASA's. We protected America. And by America, I mean the globe. America! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck the rest of them! Motherfucker! So, Rick, so uh, to play devil's advocate here, why yeah. should anybody care? Um, <laughs> because well, this is going to save there's a couple you life. There, right? I'm an right. Uber nerd. I love this shit, by the way, but I know there's haterators yeah, out there's there. So like, I don't the, care about this. For right, the so right there, the bottom right. Let's say Duper and, and his my pillow friends are right, and there's going to be an asteroid that comes straight for uh, the United States of America, probably to Mar-a-Lago. It's headed there right now, and they need to fucking save... Biden sent it. Biden and Garland. <laughs> it, it, got it, it, got, it got sent to the U.S. Just to kill, to kill all the homosexuals and atheists. We don't. It says, it says FBI right on the side of the fucking. No, asteroid. it's classified. You can't know about it. It's classified. <laughs> either way, it's been redacted. So either what we need to do is figure out a way to do something, right? If, if this is coming at us, and if this actually works, where we can redirect its direction and push it off away from Earth, then to like you know, like Iran or somewhere. Yeah, 
Just aim for Iran, right? Is that what we do? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we just need to calculate like where the Earth is going to be. Bring the video back the impact. One yeah. of the things that I wanted to point out, is, and and I, I it was funny because I'm watching the whole stream as it's happening, and the models that we've had about asteroids and crashing into asteroids. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've gotten them on camera, like this close, and they're flying at this asteroid and they're still showing the graph and it looks like a couple potatoes floating in the sky and they're like, and it's going to make a big old sploosh, right? It looks like fucking star Wars graphics in space. Ma mashed potatoes. Nobody fucking knows what it's going to look like when it impacts in this asteroid. But as you get closer to the asteroid, you notice that's not a fucking potato. That's a rocky piece of shit. Like there's a lot of fucking rocks there, a lot of boulders. So if we've got anything out of this, we got that science. We know what that asteroid actually looks like. It's not a pockmarked little mini moon. That's a rocky little crazy. It, it looks thing. like what monkey pox looks like underneath a microscope. Oh yeah, my god! I, I don't understand why this is news to you, Rick. Um, I saw, I saw. Um, you saw? That's why. Saw it's all, that's you saw Armageddon. I saw Armageddon years Duper, ago. Are you from so. Mississippi? Yeah, Southern yeah. Mississippi. Yep. It don't matter. It's all the same. <laughs> well, I didn't get my funding, so. I'll so watching that impact, it's cool. Next next year, we're going to figure out uh, the European Space Agency is actually launching another satellite to go back to Dimorphos to see the impact and see if it actually worked, if we knocked it off trajectory and if it was effective. And they're going to try it again, you know, keep trying this to see if we can get some kind of planetary defense against fucking asteroids. So we don't have to plan on Bruce Willis because obviously he can't do it anymore. He's he's kind of old and he's got the dementia or the neurological disorder. And Dude. I don't really trust Ben Ben Affleck to do shit. And Michael so, Clark Duncan is dead. So yeah, yeah. what do we? I mean, yeah. it's it's I mean, over now at this point. So yeah. we we really have no other choice but to figure out another way. So I thought so Neil deGrasse Tyson was telling all the media folk today that uh, that NASA would be able to immediately tell if there was an impact from this by looking at the trajectory of it and. Yeah. how it reacts after post crash. Yeah, cuz you'll, I, you'll I, notice they, that they, in like the next couple of weeks they said. they they picked this one uh mainly for the speed that one was was moving and it would be easier for them to tell. Right. Yeah. And you will be able to tell they they said it's going to be like a week or two before they figure out if it really moved off. So now that it was a successful mission, are they allowed to change their work uniforms or <laughs> is it like, is it dress casual day now or no, what? They tomorrow? actually got those polos 17 years ago. Tomorrow they're going to look like uh, employees from Target. <laughs> this, is, this is at the heyday of Best Buy before digital. So they were like, oh man, we got to look like the fucking coolest store on the planet. And 17 years ago, it made sense. Now we're here yeah. in 2022. They're all like, faded oh, and shit. Well, at least they didn't buy the, uh, the Circuit City version. <laughs> oh, no. They would have gotten those for a discount. <laughs> they could have bought them used, right, when they were going out of business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They so, hey guys, so, we switched to red. It wasn't, so, just, it wasn't just an off the shelf buy; it was an off the employee buy. Man, come <laughs> just right off their back. Fifty Damn. cents. Hey, by hey, the hey, way, if you anymore. <laughs> if you guys want to all wear uniform shirts, we have a cool merch store, don't we? They we do. Is he ready what? for this? Yeah. I don't oh, know. Okay. Are you? Tell them about the merch store, Lee, so they can all yeah, match. You tell them about the merch store since you're the one bringing shit up. Morningstore.com, <laughs> useless plug. <laughs> Lee used to carry, doesn't care anymore. But we have awesome. shirts and stickers and all and sorts of cool tumblers. And, stuff. Mugs. and I don't know. Maybe we'll get some blue polos. I don't know. What do you think, Lee? Well, they'll just say tarted on them. I think <laughs> that they can't even they go on there right off. now. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell everybody that we are actually in the process of migrating our store. Oh, we don't have a store anymore. You and could have told me that before the show. I thought you figured that out in the text messages that I sent you. So we <laughs> he did store. say that like he did um, say two weeks ago that we're migrating the store. But that's right, dude, fourteen thousand text messages, dude. You can't read all of them. <laughs> you, you can, you can. He responded. So, anyways, we we yeah. are migrating the store, oh. um, and during the migration, I'm also rebuilding uh, everything from the ground up. So, currently, the store is not up. It is down. Son of a bitch, Ooh. Greg. Did you hear that? Yes, the I heard it now. Is not up. Yeah. Fuck. See, yeah. I act prematurely sometimes. But I will gladly let everyone know sometimes. when it is back up, and then you know if you feel like supporting us and actually making it to where you know, Lee, I can. When it can comes have, back up, I can have some noodles to, for dinner. That'd be great. You, yeah. Um. You need yeah. to make blue polos on the new some, store. Some blue polos delicious. for sure. It's happening. Yes. Yes. Pumpkin spice dark. noodles. Yeah. Did you say you want noodles? I want pumpkin yeah, spice. I, want, I have them. I have the box of them downstairs. I need to mail them to you guys. When are we doing that? Uh, I'm gonna mail them and then we're gonna do it for yeah. first show in October. Yeah, probably it's gonna so happen gross. in October. Hey, Rick, October. Rick, take yeah. your time. 
Don't take no time. rush. Don't tell now, time, I need guys. you guys to get whipped cream because I was told you you can't eat this without whipped cream. Hey, Rick, oh, I could so wait. Bad. Like NASA, I can wait for 17 years for doing that. I dude. ordered six pumpkin spice cup of noodles. Is and someone, I wants double. Is someone from your house going to eat one with you? I am. No, no. I'm, not I'm excited to try it. In my house. Oh. I'm excited. Why would you order six? There's six One for us. each of us. Oh, I thought all five of you were doing it and I was going to mediate. No, Fuck that. No. We're doing it if we have to. We're going to participate. It. And yours oh. were putting milk in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're making the fucking noodles with milk. We're going to go hard. Oh, uh, so so uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I foresee so much diarrhea. Hope you don't have a lot of oh, lactose no. problems because that shit's going to be brutal. Hey, so, Rick, do it, do it anytime between October 15th and October 24th. Sweet. So we're going to actually do it before October 15th. Yeah, but I might not get in the mail in time. So I'll you make will. sure it's overnight. I, I know a friend, and he works for FedEx. So no, I'm gonna make you can't sure use tracked. that friend discount. That's a red yeah. light. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have signatures. Oh, I'm already getting the so grosses in the uh, the comments there. Yeah, it's gross. That's why we're yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's gonna excited. be fucking disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. I am, but. Yeah, okay, Duper's looking forward to this. Yeah. Was there like a pumpkin spice soda or something we could have bought for everybody too to have? There's pumpkin spice everything. To wash it down. Yeah, uh, I idea. saw. I saw the pumpkin spice Cheerios. Um, Those might be good though. That might not be bad. Dude, there's a pumpkin spice. Soda. There, there, there's there's gotta be a pumpkin spice Kool Aid or something. <laughs> soda works. Kool Aid. Pumpkin spice soda. Lester's uh, fixings. Albert says sodas. Greg wants his uh, wants his with sweet tea. Ooh, there's... Do you think that there's any chance there's a... Uh, he also like doesn't know how to spell noodles. He put cupo noddles, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> he must be using that catnip right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he is rubbing hard on that, on that fucking cat tree. Rick, are we Albert! Gonna, are we going to order soda to go with this? <laughs> I was just <laughs> sending a message. Sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> just saying something to Albert. It was a secret message. You guys don't know. Was there pumpkin <sighs> spice soda? Was that a real it was, thing? Yeah, it's spice. literally on the stream right now, too. So Old fashioned it. pumpkin soda? Is there a Look, pumpkin spice a Mountain Dew? There's the ones we can buy. Yeah, I, I, we, should I probably, try that, Greg. we should get some of those. You tried that, Josh? No, I would try that. We yeah. can just do pumpkin beers. No, but that's that doesn't take. It just tastes like wait, a beer. Wait, is it twenty one dollars and forty nine cents for one bottle? No, it can't be. And that. a mason jar. That that's is gross. the price. It's twelve full oh. ounces. Oh no! God, the price of cinnamon's gone crazy. What about Lester's oh fixins food so pumpkin pie soda. Pumpkin pie. Ah! I love me some pumpkin pie. That, I don't want to no. sit that, back. That's an odd observation pie. there, Greg. No, what, I like we're not pie. paying twenty one dollars. No, to cinnamon's throw up. so expensive now. Oh yeah, well, because he had the mason jar with the cinnamon sticks. So in what? It. If, what if instead we do the uh, like a Thanksgiving theme or like another? It doesn't have to be pumpkin spice for the drink, but we got to wash it down with something. Here's gravy. Hank's. Seasonal. What goes with is it just gravy? So you get 12, just, 12 ounce bottles gravy. for seventeen oh, cents <laughs> from a boat. Just like, oh. <laughs> I'm good without the boat part. Go, but yeah, anyway. I'll send you this link. Hank, uh, that's seventeen dollars. Oh, for, for twelve a, of them. For twelve, we don't pack. need twelve of them. Who's? What are we gonna do with the other six pack? We, we each get two. You have to drink both while you eat the noodles. Oh. Or can you put it oh. in the noodles? Oh, oh, yeah, you can cook God. the noodles with one and then drink the other. Oh, that's God, disgusting. That's just, gonna be that's just disgusting. I mean, I'm using that's, a whole that, can of whipped cream. Just that's horrible that. enough to get us. He's gonna have ready whip. Yeah. <laughs> like I like that we're making it really, really bad, but at the same time, that's disgusting. I hope everybody who's listening and watching tonight ate dinner because you're not. You're probably hungry right now. <laughs> what is PS code orange? Uh, I don't know. I Robert used him through that out there. I think that's a soda. So for for those not listening or watching the live, uh, Lee brought up several different pumpkin spice sodas, and that's gross. I'm really but they're very the expensive. Reason. Like what? I, you, do you, are they expensive because they know people aren't going to want to really want to buy them, and they're just doing it for stupid shit like this? Probably. Yes. Hey Lee, can we have that pumpkin spice stuff on our merch store? Yes. No. Can Too you make soon? a can you make a pumpkin spice sweatshirt for take warning? I, I can. Tarted. Okay. I want a tarted pumpkin spice. It'll be, it'll be a part it's of our basic noddles. bitch line. <laughs> noddles. It. It's gonna say noddles. It's gotta be noddles. Pumpkin spice noddles. <laughs> pumpkin spice noddles. <laughs> hey, do you guys have any of those pool noddles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. So stupid. I know. I know. All, All right. right. So uh, moving on. What are we moving on to? Yeah, so many things. Movies? Arthur. Well, I want to see oh, that for the second show. No, no, no. He said boobs. 
titties. Are you sure? Okay, so we're gonna play the game in the second show then. Titties. There you go. All right, we got a game. Heads up, we talk about titties. We do. Titties. You know what? Duper. God damn it! He looks like that. He has his face. It's. I know. Is Duper frozen? It's not gonna be what we think. I think we have a frozen dupe. No, yeah, he froze. How did he freeze? I don't know. His video's froze, Ann. Can you hear me though? He's still yeah, there. dude. Oh, yeah, right. good enough. Of nowhere. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I can hear you. Goddamn, I mean... goddamn Las Vegas internet. Titties! I wish it would have stopped when he had the red light on, though. Oh, did we lose him completely? No, no, hold on. Oh, did we? Oh, hello. Oh, oh. right <laughs> hey, you know what? It's not a take warning show without at least one technical difficulty. <laughs> right. Hey. But at least we were all on time, damn it. The thing that sucks is I always get blamed for the difficulties that we have. Oh, yeah, it's definitely all these fault. Because it's yeah. easier to blame the Jew. <laughs> that's, that's fucking oh. how Germany started, and we're not going to go down that path again, bud. Well, yeah. I'm not German, so there we go. You could be. I mean, you could be German. Titties. But I'm, but I'm not. Titties. 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 I'm not from Argentina. Titties. You're not? No. I can't believe you still have those. <laughs> Titties! <laughs> So after that very smooth transition, <laughs> uh, we, we still can't see him. I, I have no. I have one yeah. that occurs within a school, and I have another story that occurs on a plane. Which one do you guys want? Which one involves titties? Titties on a plane? Both. Both. Titties. Is there snakes on that titty plane? Titties. There was some trouser snakes. Oh. Titties. School titties. story titties. or titties. airplane? <laughs> All right, everybody. Rick keeps well, playing some sound gonna, bites I made last well, Greg year. Greg is saying it. Like Greg cannot calm down. I'm gonna pull up both pictures that Duber sent me for you guys to see, and he can talk about either one in either order. How about that? Hey, Greg, okay. please yeah, calm down. Titties. Here's the pictures. The pictures are up for our live audience. Well, I'd say pick the big ones, but I don't know what. No, no, no. The one in the pink is a whole other story because that that is a man. Yeah. So you know what she looks like? Hey, she hold looks on, like hold on. She, guys, she, Sheila says that we everyone we relax. We... You guys always oh. do this on the audio version and it makes everything crazy. And it's like, hey, no, no, we're on, good. Guys. So I want to really? point out that I'll it looks it like out. she's wearing a sweatshirt and she put two pumpkins in it. That's well, all it is. Both of them do, right? They're all just down on the bottom with two <laughs> pumpkins. One of them looks more like uh, watermelons that are like kind of sinking out of her shirt. How are we going to show this to the people that are can, listening on Wednesday? Can you imagine if you had pumpkin fucking nipples? Like, how yes. would that work? Like okay, pumpkin so. stem. What nipples? happens? How does she cook a meal? Like she's standing at the counter like, and she's just trying to chop work? veggies. And she's like, Which one? Pumpkin stem. What happens? It, how does she? It's all. It's all DoorDash. Which, Which one you talking about? The one. The one on the right. right? Can we? Or, or the one on the right. Story? The one on the right. I, I can. I can tell you how. How they do it. Um, oh. The one on the left. So the one on the left. She was forced to, to move her plane seat because her fellow passengers continued to complain about her enormous assets. It Who is. was complaining? Like, what was the complaint? I doubt you they were complaining about Jody. her ass. So Jody Jug says she is um, a model in the UK who oh, I bet she is. says she has the biggest boobs in the UK. Look at Rick typing. He's trying to find her naked. How many Jeez. pounds? Shut up. <laughs> he, Shut up. He is scouring. The 26 right year old Brit booked and paid for an economy seat for her journey back home from Las Vegas. Of course. <laughs> the seats being small is not good for my boobs. I struggle to, um, to not be in the way of other passengers, she admitted in an interview. Other passengers were complaining that <laughs> one woman whose boyfriend was sitting next to her said that her boobs kept rubbing up against him <laughs> and she was uncomfortable with such a thing. Uh, so they had to move her to her seat. And passengers were actually like, dude, just put her in first class. Like, we don't want her around us. Like, this is it's too distracting. It's in everybody's way. Like, nobody can sit comfortably because these boobs are just too massive, right? Um, I mean, are they all a- gay? She Wait. claims to have a 32T <laughs> chest. And and Art... T uh, is in titties. titties. If he could turn the light... If you could see the yeah, light dude, right now, Yeah, see the light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the light. Wait, so, dude, was she sitting in, like, the middle? Or I where was she so. sitting? No, could I think Could I have sat in the middle? That's what I want to know. No, no, she's in the middle, then you can... Middle you know, it's like, those are, like, some not natural neck pillows that you can just lay on. Any, anybody... 
boobs that big are obviously fake, right? And fake boobs that big are not going to be soft. They're not going to be. Dude, I was um, just about to say. Weak? I bet you like ten bucks. Those things are like hard as rocks. Yeah, they're they're not going to be comfortable. I don't those know, are, dude. Those tits are full of cement. <laughs> they don't make them with cement. <laughs> yeah, they do. Liquid cement. Uh, Poor Jody. Well, first oh, of all, was, that was nice. You go, girl. No, no. You make your money. You do what you got to do. Um, hey, Duper. Know. Does it say? Does it say what? What? Uh, what club she was dancing at in Vegas? Oh. <laughs> it does not. But he's asking I for a friend. He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rick's this, Rick's ready to bring up her OnlyFans and her Pornhub fucking account and all that shit. I, I have not looked up. at all that right now. She said even I the flight not attendants were rude to her. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they actually moved her out of her seat because she was such a distraction and in everybody's hey, way. Guys, and they, they set her in the yes. kitchen area. In, in a small seat. And she I thought they were going to sit her, sit her on the pilot's lap. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what I call first class. So, I love that there's <laughs> women actually watching us live right now and listening yeah. to us. It's great. But hey, we're yeah, still corny. And I'm sorry, um, there's a huge titties. Take so, corny. so, guys, I asked the question are, yeah, Is titties. there a size of titties that are too big? Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, titties! Oh, oh. Well, titties! Art. All right, you're an ass man. We know that, so I'm not even going to ask. No, no. Like, so, look, 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 for the look, rest of us look, who look, love some tits, I, I, I am an ass man, well, but I do, the, yeah, I do appreciate a good set of tits. You know, and those aren't I'm, good. No, you know no. how much money they paid for them, though. I don't give a shit. She you know how much money it's making her. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, but that's for her. That 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 does not benefit me at all. You so know, I'm that, also an ass man. I don't know why I'm getting lumped in with the booby crowd. Although the booby crowd is cool, I'm an ass man. I prefer that. So I mean, I mean, I appreciate a good set of tits, but I'm I'm more of an ass guy. But that right there, that that's just ridiculous, dude. Like, yeah. I, I would, like, yeah, I'd give it a second. I'd give it a second look, but not in a in a and a like, third and a fourth and a fifth. No, not not, not even then. It wouldn't be like, oh damn, that's hot. I'd be like, oh damn, that's fucking ridiculous. I need Duper's yeah. light for me for this conversation. Why? Because okay. just any anybody that can get pregnant is your style, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. If they're fertile, it's my lady. If they're, I think fertile? I, I think I, I think Albert needs uh, Duper's like because he's a, he, he's he's punching out. So uh, here, here, Judy, a uh, Jody. I, I think she's a beautiful girl, and I think she kind of ruined. Well, she that. Really she is very breast. pretty. She's very, very pretty. pretty. But I, I, the, those jugs are just too much. Yeah, no, it's too much. She ruined her body with with the plastic but surgery. She's she gonna have problems been. down the line, right? Like that's a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully she's making a ton of money off of them. So yeah, who's so moved her bigger? The, later. the the huh? one in the mask or the other one? So the one in the mask, the one in the mask. So <laughs> the school <laughs> defends gender rights of trans teacher with giant prosthetic prosthetic breast. So giant. was a dude. Yeah, I told it you that. Dude. A Canadian oh. school board is standing behind a trans teacher who sparked the protest after. Why did he make up, him so big? <laughs> after turning up the classes with clownish giant. Prosthetic for the same breasts. reason Jody did. The blonde high school teacher went viral after being filmed operating a cutoff saw in class while wearing tight black shorts and balloon style breasts uh, drooping around her waist. Ew. Other images taken by pupils at the school um, about 20 miles outside of Toronto showed the same teacher in other outfits with the huge nipples protruding from the break fake bust. Um, they're saying that she gets a lot of attention in school. Some pupils have skipped classes held by the, the teacher because they say that it's not normal and that they can't focus. Um, they don't, and they don't think that the teacher can actually be fired. They, they think that because they're, they're claiming to be a trans person, that they're protected. And so the school board is actually standing firm. Duper, you're saying they're claiming. Do you think that that's a straight man that was like, "I'm going to make the biggest titties possible"? Or titties. Like that's why I what so the school says protecting gender rights is a stance <laughs> that the school board is taking and they're standing behind the teacher. The teacher who teaches shop is an extremely effective shop. teacher. Is the teacher uh, a shop thing? with titties shop, that big? Shop class, yes. Shop? There's actually a shop. video of her cutting okay. wood. I would yeah. say I would we say if, 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 they, if they really want to get rid of her, they should do it on the premise of safety. So uh, really the question no, I have is not why safety, like, again because she's wearing a mask. God. Why, why? Yeah, but those titties are gonna get sucked into like. No, oh, here's, 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 here's the end. Here's the end of the story. Hold on, hold on. You sons of. Oh man, this has that, nothing to oh, do shit. with something like transgender rights. This goes uh, beyond wokeness or political correctness. Pop? The story has gone viral not because the teacher identifies as trans. It's gone viral because everyone knows it's completely inappropriate for someone to present themselves this way in a professional environment. 
the school dress code will also not allow students to, to uh, dress in this manner as well, right? So you can't have your nipples showing in on, on um, three your shirts. So I, I get again. Why would you make them so big? like? And, and Elena was making the point that I was trying to make uh, with the last girl too. That's got to kill her back. Like someone, someone is going to be. I mean, like, how do you live like that? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 40 year old dude with a gut now, and I hate that on my back. I can't mm-hmm. imagine 50 extra pounds of fake prosthetic, you know, bo- boobs. Like, and why would you make them so big and uncomfortable? Like, it's just it, there's something going on there. I hope. Why would you get them so close up. to that yeah. saw? <laughs> this is crazy, yeah, right? And, that, and that's and that's the point I'm trying to make. This is Jesus. like a more of a safety standpoint. So we're showing the video for those listening. Than, than a distraction standpoint, she's gonna she's gonna get those titties fucking caught in a bandsaw or or something, and she's gonna get hurt. Maybe right. she wanted to drain some helium out of those things. And yeah, I, I you know. actually I want to take back my joke about the pumpkins because I kind of feel <laughs> bad for that person. Like, that's just, <laughs> so right, that's brutal. Remember earlier I said claims, right? So this you're gonna hear it here first. Um, this this you this just won't is, see it here with Duper. There, there is nothing verified from this story at all. Okay, nothing. All right. So this is just a a random thing I saw, and it actually made me start thinking about this scenario. And and here's what this 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 Reddit. comment says. I, I think it's Reddit. on Reddit or something like that. This dude is gaming the system. Um, this dude was, uh, I know somebody who was in his class. The teacher was almost fired for toxic masculinity last year, as well as not embracing woke culture. He dropped red pills to his class, such as how to uh, how silly gender neutral bathrooms are. The school board hates him. Now he's upping the ante to exploit, to exploit the very clown world the school and society is self-created. His long game is most likely to get fired and then sue for discrimination. There's no other explanation, no better way to troll clown world than to become an over-the-top character of a woman. Dude, so he's Canadian, right? Or she's Canadian? Yeah. So do you get breast implants for free medical health care up there in Canada? Or does she have to pay for those? Possibly. Because you know she probably didn't afford it if they pay their teachers the same wages that we pay our teachers here. Well, they're in prosthetics, Canada? right? So, but I don't think I don't think cosmetic surgery would be covered under the same umbrella. It's, uh-huh. No, I, I think... Greg might be right. Canada's very far progressive, um, especially on trans rights. So it, it might be under their medical. We'd have to look it up to, to get an actual answer. Well, that's right. Why Rick's why not doing it, it already. But I'm not it, looking that up. It, it, that, that, still looking at Pornhub. Are yeah. breast implants free in Canada? Perhaps that's true, or maybe it's not. Well, no, no. no you got to look at uh, sexual um, gender transition. Is that free? Uh, no, titties are a separate thing, though. Yeah, but titties. breast implants might just be titties. considered cosmetic, while titties. gender affirming surgery would be considered life saving or um, more important. They might fall into two different buckets. So, what's the answer for this? While Lee's looking it up, are we are the are the teachers' unions going to come out with you can only be a teacher if you have a certain cup size? The school board standing behind this person completely. Oh, so it's wow, interesting. So it says so. Most Canadian provinces cover the cost of gender reassignment surgery. Uh, fem- oh. Feminizing surgeries considered cosmetic, mm. like breast augmentations, voice surgery, Adam's apple reduction, and facial, feminiz- uh, facial feminization mm-hmm. are not covered. Oh. So perhaps they're just going to pay for hormones. But gender reassignment surgery is what it says. So so where did she get the money for the titties? That's They're not they're, that's, they're that's prosthetic. of the gender reassignment though, right? Yeah, I would think so. What do you mean a prosthetic? Like it's not like implanted in the body? No. It's something that's outside the body? So this person, every day when they wake up, they get out of bed, they go strap this monstrosity on their chest, and then they go to school. Oh, okay. So they didn't get breast implants then? No. No. Well, that doesn't count. Those are are real? No. Well, I mean, they're not real fake. Yeah, they're not real fake titties. They're. But I don't know, dude. You said nothing titties. on this story has been verified at all. So no, 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 nothing. Not. No, no. The story itself was verified. Him oh. being a troll is not verified. Mm. Which is possible, right? I mean, this person could just be trolling the system. Like, well, look at how how far I can push this, and how they'll all come to my rescue. Hmm. Dupe, would you do that? That story is depressing. Push to push the the envelope. Would you? Yeah. Would you go into your? Uh, your elementary school teaching kids with your big ass like K titty bra on. 
uh, trying to prove a point. I, I, if I'm being honest, I probably thought about doing such ridiculous things. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and if I didn't have a family to support, I probably would. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's funny mm-hmm. how that family thing works well, out. Yeah, it does. If you got a family it, it, to support, geez. technically, you should do it because then you know you can go down that path of like what what they're planning on doing. You know, if you do get fired, you get that yeah. million dollar lawsuit coming your way, and you're gonna be better off. Well, that's true. I mean, maybe maybe I want to go buy some prosthetic breasts later on today. Yeah. Um, what is super? the largest size? Of- <laughs> I, was about, I was thinking about duper with breasts. <laughs> Just, you- oh, Rick. Rick, you think I, you think I, I could get away with this if I just put like a, a full summer sausage in my pants every day? Yes, yes, yeah. But we all know that it's not the truth. So no, I mean, I like that we both said one just would guess. be. That's yes. absolutely yeah, that's yes. totally okay. Quickly, so, <laughs> absolutely. So you don't eight, think your boss would say anything to you if, if you were just coming to work every day with like a 18 inch, like salami, like taped to your thigh? I don't think I could. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Cool. Because he doesn't I mean, need to. <laughs> see me? Come on. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, nobody, nobody's looking at that, Lee. That was except great, for the. Uh, it was a great the, joke. So. Yes, I got yeah. it. I love you. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, Rick. Mm-hmm? So you played that sound, right? Yes. Lee, do you yeah. have those those URLs that I sent you regarding those said noises? Those earls. No. Those earls. Damn was it. I supposed to? All right, so I'll just say this, Dupe. Since no one can see you, mm-hmm. we are all assuming that you are secretly watching uh, the new Thor movie that came out on no. Disney Plus a couple the truth, weeks ago. The truth is, Greg, think about when my, my screen went out. That's when, when it, you started watching Thor. No, when no, the titties no, no. His, his screen went out when we started looking at titties. He's masturbating. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 100% tubing right now. Oh, oh, oh. Duty jokes, duty jokes, duty jokes. Oh god! I can't wait for your camera to come on eventually. <laughs> He's gonna come god. back and be all frazzled and disheveled. <laughs> just, just, just watch where you're aiming that thing, buddy. Yeah, okay. gonna, my... gonna be cockeyed. He's gonna have a cigarette See, in his mouth. He, yeah. he he turned off his camera so he wouldn't see his flashlight. <laughs> oh, he hasn't oh, gotten yeah. that yet. It's not Christmas time. Oh, dude, he bought oh, one for himself. He's like, I can't yeah, wait. He already got one. We know that. I can't yeah. wait till Christmas. It's gonna be a man's ass too. <laughs> be a man's ass. Oh. I cannot wait till Christmas time. The gifts I got you ladies are fantastic. You guys I might take made, that week off. You've already done your shopping? Uh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I, Heather was, actually it picked It was your... the Raider store. I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's behind the signs. Yeah. He's giving away all his Raiders shit now. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to get jerseys. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And there you go. There's a Derek Carr jersey. He's like, oh, great. I there next September. season. You, you guys want a... Uh, a a 2023 calendar of myself. Yes. yes. I think that'd be yeah. great for, yes. for Christmas yeah. present. For what if we had to take guys. one a calendar? Uh, listeners that are still around, would you take a... Uh, <gasps> Let's do it. Do we, Yeah. Like, if we had... If we made it a giveaway for all of next year. Okay. So next remember. week... Rick, here's what we need to decide for next week. We, we need yeah. to come up with some, some themes for that calendar, and then we're going to let the audience decide what theme we want to run with. Bikini okay. car wash. So a, a bikini <laughs> car wash is pretty solid. <laughs> Prosthetic boobies, you know. I mean, whatever they, whatever they want, we'll 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 do, we'll that. do it. And we'll give you ideas. twelve ideas. So give us twelve and ideas. And we'll give you a us. bonus month. We're gonna give you a bonus month. We're gonna give you twenty twenty four too. No, no, no. We, no, no one theme cool. for the entire calendar. No way. We each what? only get two months. You know what? Tarted. How about that? That's our theme. <laughs> <laughs> We're making a calendar. It's yeah. done. It's called Tarted. But anyway, um. Yeah, so we all get two months. Yeah, uh, and the what, audience what, will decide what the theme is. Um, right now, wait, 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 hang on. You don't chat. want to have one with all of us together? No, well, yeah, that, that could be the cover. Yeah. Okay. That's that could fair. be us in our yeah. Best Buy t-shirts. Yep. Is there anything? Uh, I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking more shirtless. I feel yeah. like. Oh, if art's a part of it, we should just do like half the year as a Star Wars theme. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that will be that will be in May. Like, art, art, I really will get you the spear and take you out to like a forest. Hell yeah! Make it look like Indoor, he is and we easily, will have a Wicked month. He is, yeah, you know, you 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 know, I'm always down for shenanigans. All right. All right. I mean, May we, we need be... a we need to get to the next show. May why, why I know everybody hates when I do that. Stuff. Art. Why do you do that to yourself? Yeah. because you got to cut it up, right? Yeah. No. Well, yeah. Next show, uh, join us. We're gonna talk some more about uh maybe uh, chicken recipe camera fix. 
We're going to have a chicken yeah. recipe. We're going to have a fun game that Art has planned for us. What is the name of the game? Uh, it's a secret. It's so a secret. in, in like 10 game. seconds, it's... I just made, like literally right now where you guys were talking, I made background music for it. So, so awesome. Art, Art is going to put secret things up Rick a, took us, a, and he's got to determine what it is. Yes. yes. Okay. I got to figure it's, out just by it, feel. It's a spinoff of last week's show from, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Gay Bar or Steakhouse. It's a spinoff. All right. All right. Okay. So Join what us, are we doing uh, now? Are we taking a break? Or are we just rolling into the next one? Like five minutes. All right. Five minutes. Okay. We'll it looks back. like someone's doing a potty dance. That's why. Five minutes. Bye. All right. For those on the live, look for us. We'll be, we'll be right back. We'll be back, back in five. you enough i did not mean to say that <laughs> that just happened hey rick but what also did you... i'm not racist i like rick, asian what... folk what didn't you oh, mean to you? say yes i love hey, rick what rick what what didn't you mean to say uh the r word what's what's that it uh ends with a uh, tarded <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> And you know I'm, what? I think Rick is more racist against Mexicans because I'm not. Oh, that's, right? that's I mean, one hundred percent true. Yeah. So <laughs> what? Like, I, I am a, 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 flag that one. Flag that one. <laughs> that is not even. That is not even a joke. <laughs> right now i like I his musk. this is elon's musk. musk this is some weird musk. shit yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah. that feels better So it's Christmas time. You guys, you guys got yeah. some gifts, huh? Hey, you know, uh, last year we had so much fun exchanging gifts on the pod. Um, we're doing it again.
tat 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 tat. I like that. Rat tat 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 at the end. It's the worst. It's the worst. And if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Take Warning podcast. Hey, hey, Duper. How are you feeling about that goat? I fucking hate the goat. Hey, hey, Duper. Why is the light not on then? As as a guy who looks very much like Tom Brady nowadays, <laughs> uh, it's it's hard to identify a goat down like that. He's like I, Tom Brady's low budget stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom, you're gonna get sacked. Put he's, put Duper out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <You're up>, Duper. <laughs> All right, dude. Dupe is a man. great value, Tom Brady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, order, you order Tom Brady on Wish. <laughs> That's all it is. So um, I think it should be. Let's just keep this uh, this gravy train going. I, I heard like that gravy. we might we might have a little bit of a game to play, and Art put something together. Ooh. Well, no, 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 no. I'm not going to take credit for this. What's oh, the name of the on. game? Hold on. I just want to say real quick, shameless plug, thank you for everybody who listened and watched our YouTube videos over the last few weeks or two. We put up a gajillion shorts, and they were all fantastic, including the one that's muted Rick, where we finally had a muted video of Rick, and we made some shenanigans out of it. It was fantastic, so go check out all of our YouTube videos. I love you all. Okay, game. That's easily my favorite video that you've made so far. It was it's so, so time-consuming. I don't such even post shit on my personal like, social media, and I made sure that went on my personal social media because that shit was stupid. <laughs> I feel it loved. Amazing. It made it to your personal like social yeah, media. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm, I'm ready to play this uh, game. Part. Part. I think I'm all right, what's the game called, Art? Okay, is okay, okay. okay. So so if you were if you joined us last week... we I did. I was there. If you Okay, shut up. Um, we played a little game called Gay Bar Steakhouse. We played that once before, and uh, both times Josh won. Good job, Josh. Thank you. You know, you, you know your meat, and you're so. Game. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, during during that game, so um, what is that game for people who may not know or who were well, on the, last the, week? The game. Well, I, I'm getting to it. God damn it, Greg! Shut up. <laughs> okay. So, just the, waiting. So 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 the game is you, you know. I, I give you a name of a business, and it's either mm. a gay bar or a steakhouse, and you got to guess which one it is. So during last week's game, uh, an idea was shouted out, making fun of Lee, of strip uh, strip club or daycare. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Um, and <laughs> I, I had every intention on doing the research, but my lovely wife beat me to the punch, and so all these are courtesy of Sheila. Strip club music. Oh, hey. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. Yeah. Yeah. So, so or let's get on with this concert. Bitch. And yeah. so the, the rules are the same. I'm going to give you uh, a name of either uh, uh, a daycare or a strip club, and you're going to oh, have to guess which out. one. We're, we're going to have to play this game again just for that intro music. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this is background music. It's going to play in a loop. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. just, I messed up. Rick, you got to turn it to immediately. Music by like it's, 20%. it's down as low as you can go right now. All I'm going to keep score. I'm going to keep score, and the only problem is we have a ringer here. We have a ringer because Lee has frequented both many strip clubs and daycares because one follows the other with him. If you just go to Lee's house, it's basically, <laughs> there's like a strip club upstairs and a daycare downstairs. It's yeah, yeah. You guys don't see the pole in the background? I mean, it's a, it's a good business model. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so like before, I'm going to give you guys a couple of softballs. Well, they're they're going to be kind of obvious, and they're going to get a little bit harder as we go on. Okay, so, here we go. Number one. Golden. Yeah, I like the strip club music. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. Rick spoke over you. Yeah, Rick, shut the fuck up. Sorry. Goldilocks. Strip Take care. Club. That has to be a strip club. Okay. So, yeah, it's strip club. Strip club? Daycare. Yeah. He's got daycare. Josh? Daycare. Daycare. Mm. Rick? Oh, strip club. Strip. Ah, uh, daycare. Daycare. You already said strip club. <laughs> yeah, you you already said strip it. club. Damn you can't it. change it. You can't change it. You can't All double right. stamp and triple stamp. What if you're right? Greg? Yeah, Greg? I said, said strip, strip club. club. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is a daycare. Oh. oh. Josh and Lee got a point there. The Jews are in the lead again. We got we go. Lee. <laughs> okay. Superior race, apparently. I'll put a fucking oh. kick you the next time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was a little bit confused at the beginning because I didn't realize we were naming the establishes the, the establishments 
name of the business. Yes. I thought we were naming the students within the class. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 if it was a Goldilocks Yikes. name for the person, oh, yeah. absolutely, ship club all day. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were naming strippers, so I was a little bit confused. This is the name of the establishment. Oh. Okay, um, Alpha Berry. Alpha, Alpha Berry. Oh, strip club. Alpha, Alpha Berry. Berry. I won't spell Berry. Strip spell Berry. Common spelling. <laughs> B e r i or b a r i or b a r y or like a berry b e r r y strip club said alpha berry yeah knowing art he probably went strip club second oh my god well, I don't I don't know if a daycare would be called alpha berry yeah it doesn't make sense yeah. b e r r y I'm gonna go with daycare daycare Josh strip club Rick strip club Lee? Strip club. Do you listen when we answer, or do you just... Yeah, no, do like, you... we, we yell out our answers, <laughs> and then you go back and make us do it again. What is happening? Well, we'll do it, because like, you guys answer all, like, at the same time. Okay. Super. <laughs> I didn't get uh, your answer. I said strip club. <laughs> well, next time, we should have placards that we hold up. Yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. Yeah. It's strip club. You guys all got points. Yay! Uh, Greg, pick daycare. I said daycare. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I didn't get points. Thanks for your welfare, Brett Favre. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Twinkle. Oh, come on. Twinkle? Twinkle. Spell, spell twinkle. Common spelling. They're, none of these spellings are weird. <laughs> uh, daycare. Daycare? Okay. Twinkle. Is it like a, like a twinkle in my eye? Yes. Or is it how, like how, how how else would you would you use twinkle? Well, I'm picturing like a strip club with it like T W Y N K L or some weird. shit. But none, none of these spellings are weird. Can I have a Y instead of an I? Daycare. Daycare. Duper, did you give me an answer? You did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, Rick went strip club. Greg, <laughs> daycare. Okay, Greg's on the board. It's a daycare. Hey! I was waiting for Art to be like, "Okay, Rick, what's your answer?" And like, totally not look at the camera. <laughs> I, sh I should have. I should have. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll do one sec here. Um, big fun city. <laughs> daycare. Big fun city. Big fun city. Daycare. Okay. <laughs> Rick, Rick drew a penis and boobs. Uh, actually, uh, real answer, I'm going to go daycare this time. You're going to go daycare? Mm -hmm. Okay, Greg. What did you say? Big Al's fun barn? What did you say? Big <laughs> <laughs> Super. Thanks for asking. Big fun city. Uh, I'm going to go daycare. Daycare. Josh, what was your answer? I don't remember. Daycare. None of you got points. Damn. Oh, I yeah. knew I should have went to a strip club. A strip club? This was a strip club. Rick, oh. Rick distracted me with his excellent drawing skills. I mean, <laughs> Can we get location if you, data? You know, yeah, yeah, if you accidentally Google that, like Google map that, though, and you drive there with your kids, it's still not a waste of a trip, though, right? I'm going to meet your new mom. <laughs> None left left. Okay, here we go. Wonder Joy. Wonder Joy. Daycare. Spell it. Spell it. Daycare. Really, Dick? <laughs> Is it like W U N D E R? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I? Yes. Like, yes. like jerk off instruction? Mm, or is it W O N D E R? Oh. I'm going to go strip club. Is it J O I or J O Y? J O Y. Daycare. What is the difference between a J O I and a J O Y Lee? Well, one's like you boy, yourself a and one's like boy. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's your answer? I said daycare. Daycare. It's a daycare. Yes. All right. Who's in the lead right now? I'm not. Um, you are. Oh, Fuck what? Yeah. You are, Lee. Whoosh. Followed Why did by... the Jews know all the business locations? Followed by oh, it's businesses. Business. They like make the money. money. Followed by Dupe and Josh. <laughs> Greg, I like how Rick and Josh said that at the same exact time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys ready well, for the next one? You time? know, Rick is yeah, a yeah, Jew, yeah. so. Yeah. The Crayon Club. Spell crayon. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> Spell club, please. <laughs> Shit. The crayon club? Crayon club. I don't like. Can you like say Crayola crayon or... crayons? Hey, say crayon. Crayon. I, crayon. You know what? I, I almost feel like this is a trick question. Damn it. Rick, what's your final answer? Because you put up strip club first. Is it like. Why do you is it a crayon club? Yeah, no, no. Rick has, Rick has to stick with his original answer. Or is it a crayon club uh, because they're calling Dick's crayons? All right, all right. I'll stick with my original answer. I would have been tied for the lead at the beginning. All right, all right. If I wasn't on Goldie okay, Can you use it in a sentence? Um, <laughs> no. What do you guys got? I went to the crayon club last Saturday. Would you, visit, would you visit this place on a weekend or a weekday? <laughs> what, are the hours? what are the business hours? Yeah. What time do they close? Well, they're open all hours. What do they serve for lunch? Is it egg salad sandwiches? <laughs> shrimp they have a buffet. So it's a shrimp are club. Are any I'm of these club. located oh. in Las Vegas by chance? I, I have no idea. Club. I didn't do the research on this. Hmm. What, what, what do you got, Josh? Shit. Um, Shit's not an answer. Well, that's my answer. It could be. Uh, shrimp club. Shrimp club? Oh man, uh, I want to go daycare. I'm gonna okay. go strip club. Josh, I mean uh, Greg, daycare. It's a, it's a strip club. Damn. Yeah, yeah. What so the what, fuck? Is it I really? Point? Okay. Is it crayon like C R A Y O N or crayon like C R A N? C R A Y O N. Damn, that's so confusing. That, yeah. That's so you go crayon. Into the game. Full of a whole bunch of different colors in that house. Wow. That reminds Next me one. of that episode of South Park Raisins. Remember that shit? It sounds yeah. totally inappropriate. Next one. Magic casserole. I mean, a casserole. Carousel. Casserole? <laughs> magic casserole. <laughs> magic <laughs> casserole. <laughs> Mom's about to show you club. something in her this oven. Is, this ain't your mama's strip club. The magic so, uh, carousel? Magic. magic carousel. Fuck. If this is a strip club and they have like a table that turns with a dancer on it, that would be impressive. Isn't but I'm that go a daycare. ride? Isn't that a ride at Disneyland in Disney World? Mm. The magical carousel? Look, I don't go to Disneyland that I much like you do. Yeah, the Greg, is it? carousel. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Lee, what do you got? Uh, I'm going daycare. Daycare? Yeah. Rick. <sighs> yeah, I want to go. I'm going daycare. Okay. I'm going to go it. strip club. I got I to gotta go with it. Which one? Okay. Josh, daycare, daycare. Rick, what are you drawing? It is a know. daycare. Yes. Boom. It is a daycare. I'm not even pl like the Raiders. I'm not even trying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gave up when you were all in three. I'll see you in the next shitty game with Josh wins. <laughs> Golden cloud. Ooh. Oh, that's true. Oh. Golden cloud. Mm. Does it have Duke golden Spencer? showers? Um, oh. I don't know. Rick, Rick, and Dupe have uh, strip club. Um, golden cloud. Rick, we just got censored because of your bullshit, dude. No I'm, way. I'm gonna go take that out. No way. I just wrote strip club. <laughs> take care. I'm a take care. And without a doubt, that is the ugliest. Like Greg? the hills have take eyes care. stripper I've ever seen in my life. Josh. <laughs> Look, it's got your face, Duper. <laughs> Dude, he looks, he looks just like Tom Brady. There you go. Man. With prosthetic boobies on. Oh. This is a strip club. Oh. Got it. We got a three-way tie. Oh, this is a strip club. Josh, Lee, and Dupe. Yes. Solid. Followed closely by Rick and Greg with only one point. <laughs> Holy shit. Can you even be wrong that often? <laughs> I know. I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess we know that a, Greg doesn't visit strip clubs and he has no kids. Yeah. Are you gay? So when I tell my wife is the truth, I don't go to those clubs, baby. No, I promise you, I don't go to those clubs. See? Okay, next one. Happy times. I, Greg's, Greg's like, I just, Daycare. I just like to work litter. Daycare. No, I, I just do it for my, my own well-being. I, I do it for reasons. Take care. Take care. Happy daycare. times. Happy times. Yeah, I'm gonna go daycare. Yeah, daycare. You said they were gonna get harder later on in the game, so yeah. I think you're trying oh, to force. Yeah. Gosh. Sure club. Oh it shit. Is for a the daycare. Oh. Yes! Oh I got two points now! <laughs> Peace out, Josh. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> Lee's still tied with you, right? I know, yeah. I know. Oh the yeah. Jews will win. Hey, hold on. <laughs> can I um can I reference the uh poll that was taken in the live chat? 
about tell duper something answer one was fix your camera <laughs> answer two was fix your camera <laughs> <laughs> who was that who was that uh i don't know somebody who's like i said fix your camera i did it the other 12 percent said fix your camera all right so everybody who, who participated in that poll you're banned from the show <laughs> Damn. Bye, guys. <laughs> we literally lost, like, all our fan base. But well, wait, it's daycare. <laughs> all right, well, you got one more for us? Yeah. I got a, I got a few more. How, how, how long are you going to go? How are you feeling on this? Uh, well, we, we let's let's keep going until there's a winner. Okay, first one to ten. What how many do we have right at? now? Um, Lee and Dupe Everybody are tied has at, three. Lee and Dupe are tied at six. Oh, damn. That's a I, long time. Wait. Away. I guess yeah, we're going to do a whole I hour. Like eight. We're playing like, to eight. I feel like we've been doing this for an hour. Yeah. yeah. We'll play to eight. Okay, here we go. Next one. Go. All seasons. Because you guys keep on talking. <laughs> all seasons? Well, all seasons. Not to fuck a strip club, because those bitches dance during all seasons. Okay, we got Rick with strip clubs, Greg with strip clubs. I'm waiting to see what Duper picks. <laughs> I'm waiting on you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all Lee, you pick seasons. first this time, and then he'll pick uh, first next. Take care. Take care. Nope. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna copy him. Fuck it. Thank oh, you. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Josh, uh, what was it again? All seasons. I'm going strip club. Oh damn it! He's gonna tie us. I know. <laughs> it's a daycare. Oh! oh! Yeah! <laughs> Rick, we suck. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I like the picture. That's why I keep putting a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, you need to draw a third titty on there. Totally. You know, I just realized. Style. This is this is my wife's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, here we go. She's next see one. So next much one. stuff. She's gonna be at work tomorrow using that. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna call him. I have so many questions. <laughs> like, yeah, what this is her, this is her dinner planning notebook. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, oh, looks like tonight's dinner is just dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess we're having sausage tonight, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People here, Rick, it's not your dick. Okay, what are we doing? Let's go to this last okay. one. Okay. Win it up. Heart and soul. Art, strip Art. soul. Strip Art. Art and soul. Strip Art club. and soul. Heart, like you, your heart. You pick like strip club. Hitman heart. Yep. But I, strip club. I need to pick strip club too. <laughs> well, we're just gonna keep copying each other. Here. <laughs> here. I'm going strip club. What Josh, are you, what do you? He said strip club. Okay. What'd you say? What'd you guys oh, no. say? Josh, you said daycare? Yeah, you said the opposite of us. Sorry. Yep. It's a strip club. Yeah, yeah! I got three oh, no. points. We win. No. How many oh, points did we have? We're tied. tied. Okay, you got to do no, it. You guys tied at eight. You got to do we one more just between me and Duper. Okay, Duper. tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. We have to pick an opposite answers. Uh, Am I beating Rick at least? Duper, you go first. Uh, No, not even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> We have to say our answers as quickly as possible. Whoever says it first, okay, um, and they're right, then they win. All right, Lee, I'm gonna help you out too. <clears throat> I don't ready? want your help. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Yeah, Daisy. Take care. Take no, care. Take care. No, fuck you. We both said take care at the same fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Red take velvet. It's a daycare. We know it's a daycare. Is it the a only question is who said it first? Is it a daycare? You, you guys are both wrong. It's a strip club. Oh. oh! Oh, Nobody wins. Damn. Okay. I more. said strip club. No, it's, it might be right now. Okay. Off, okay. Man. Okay. One, one more. You guys got to pick the opposite. Okay. Star dot. Take care. Ooh. I'll go strip club. Lee wins. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> and the Jews take it again. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a star, David, on the live. Is that enough to make up for like two thousand years of repression? Are we done with that now? Oh yeah. God. That's that's why I gave it. No, to no, no. The, no, repar we the like, reparations aren't done yet, Rick. That's enough right there. You got the win several times in a row. Is it already gave you Israel? I don't know. Is mass is it okay genocide to really a again? win? <laughs> it's a win. It's a win for somebody. Do oh. you put the red light up for me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why wasn't that red light going during that whole fucking game there, dude? Because like, mm. you weren't dancing. Because he wasn't oh. offended. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So that was, a, that was a fun game. That was a good game. Was I fun. enjoyed that. Uh, was, you guys, uh, you guys want to hear about a, a, a game that the kids are playing on the TikTok? Are we talking about the the what they're cooking cars? chicken with? So the FDA is warning uh, NyQuil chicken may have increased, uh, or I'm sorry, that's that's just the URL. TikTok's interest in NyQuil chicken increased 1,400 percent following the FDA's warning against the dangerous trend. So people are pouring 
it's a TikTok challenge where you will boil a chicken and then pour NyQuil on the chicken while it's boiling as, I don't know, some kind of flavoring. Um, and apparently it, it releases chemicals into the air. It's not good for your health. Well, that's because in certain concentrations, if you breathe it in, it can be fatal. Yeah. But it depends. Is it like the great value NyQuil or is it like actual VIX NyQuil? It's all the well, same I, shit. If you're it? trying to poison I, yourself, you might as well use the name brand. Shit. Rick, can we try this? I'm of, no. the, I'm, I'm of the mindset of let them do it. Really? They could Doing this and, and boiling this NyQuil could actually cause liver damage and muscle breakdown. So it's like uh, the Tide Pods 2022. Listen, it listen. You got to thin the herd somehow. And if these dumbasses want to do that, fucking let them do it. We just got through three years of thinning it's, the herd. How much more do we need to do? Well, this goes look, back look, a, a bit. Look, there's a, there's apparently more sought off humans that need to get called. Okay, <laughs> off I don't know yeah. where this came humans. up. So, can we make a shirt? Is this something you guys made up, or can no, we, no, we stole, no, we stole this shit. One hundred percent stole that. Damn it. Where'd you steal right, it from? So, is it a reputable source, or can we market it? It was no. It was it was a comedian. Um, uh, TikTok. No, yeah, yeah, it was a TikTok video, but yeah, it was the TikTok. So I can, so. I can, I can quote it then. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, so this comes after uh, other digital trends such as the 2012 cinnamon challenge, the 2018 Tide Pod challenge, and the 2020 Benadryl challenge. What's... I'm only familiar with the the Tide Pod. There was one. a Benadryl challenge. Yeah. What was the Benadryl? I don't know. Anybody aware of that? Or I know the cinnamon challenge. Those kids love to put everything in their ass, so that might be it. <laughs> <laughs> Any oh, and, idea? Uh, Lee, Lee, that comedian is Theo Vaughn. Yeah, what's Theo Vaughn? Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Any idea? So, can you put Nyquil on duck? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know some people got plenty of duck meat. Are you, you do love the TikTok? Oh, okay. So the Benadryl challenge was on TikTok, and it, what it did was it encouraged viewers to take large doses of the antihistamine to induce hallucinations. Does it really? Cool. I guess. I don't know. Go is find that, out. Take the um, challenge. Is that from boiling the NyQuil or is that from the salmonella in the chicken? This is the Benadryl <laughs> challenge. That no, that, that shit would not work oh. for me because like, I take one of those pills and I, I fall asleep. What if you boil the Benadryl with chicken? And the NyQuil. Oh, we just started something art. <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you guys need to stop. I mean, <laughs> what if you mixed in the DayQuil and the NyQuil at the same time? An upper and a downer? I think yeah. you at that point. Yeah, your heart just explodes. Yeah. These these TikTok challenges seem to only get more stupid as time goes. So, on. how much um, would it cost if I were to get like a turkey like fryer and just fill that bitch up with Nyquil instead of oil? I, I just are Tide Pods locked up wherever you guys shop at now too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, do yeah, you, yeah. Do, are they gonna have to lock up Nyquil and chicken now? Haven't they been Probably. doing that anyway? Locking up Tide Pods. Mm-hmm. That That's only started after the, the challenge. You know, if I go to the store out here, it's not just Tide Pods that are locked up. It's Tide in general. Yeah. yeah. That's theft. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because maybe it's like the top rated stolen product. No. Yeah, it's name brand. Big name brand. It's it's expensive. We're in the middle of this crazy financial ruin for most people. And well, Rick, see, just a month ago, you said that the recession was made up. Thanks, Obama. The recession's not there yet. We're not in a recession. We're in a bear market now, though. Okay. Like a grizzly bear? The fine bear. <laughs> polar bear. Is it like a... Ooh. Oh, polar bear. Is it possible like to go into a twink market? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little otter. An otter market? Yeah. It's, it's come a here. lot of markets. Yeah, come I here, mean, baby boy. There's a lot, of, a lot of things we could go through here. Do you think mm. that the FDA bringing attention to this actually just made the, the issue worse? Well, because now people are probably going to go out and search it and be like, oh, fuck it, let's well, try it. It's a 1,400% increase in, in searches for this thing after like the FDA I, warning. Like I said, let, let them call themselves out. Less idiots. Yeah, now, so. is there a difference? Like, you have to have the liquid NyQuil, right? You can't have, like, the gel cap NyQuil and put it under the skin or something? I, I've not. <laughs> I would. I, I just assumed it was it? the liquid one. Now, now yeah. do you brine it in the, in the NyQuil or... Oh yeah, you could do that too. I guess that's true. another Thanksgiving trend. Yeah, I you throw it in the crock pot. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you guys. You guys are like <laughs> totally on board. Josh, Josh really right, wants so, to try this shit. By the way, uh, please do this. not follow anything when, we we're saying. When I brought not. up this topic, I thought we would just all condemn it. I thought this could be the one thing we could agree on, and yet we cannot. Or I, I agree with you. So let's let's move on. It's in hey, the title bro. of the the episode, so we have to talk about it. 
Rick, you want to tell us about the Iranian situation? What's going on in Iran? What's going on in Iran, what man? What's going on in Iran? Dude, I don't fucking live in Iran. Iran. What's going on in Iran? Iran. Iran. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get away. It's in the name of the title, so we have to talk about it. <laughs> Honestly, Iran's protest. Honestly, uh, it looks caused... like there's a... They're, they're, I mean, it could go nowhere. It could go somewhere, but... Oh, uh, really? It could go nowhere. Yeah. It could go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we'll How see what happens. They're standing up for themselves, finally. Uh, a woman was arrested for not wearing her hijab correctly and exposing too much hair. And uh, she died in custody with the their so-called morality police. Uh, that drove most of the younger people in that country to start saying, nah, man, that's fucked up. Like, what, nah, what the fuck is this? So there have been major, major protests going on all across the country. Uh, a lot of women are taking their hijabs off, throwing them in bonfires. Publicly. Which is a criminal offense in that country. Yeah. They're uh, saying death to the... I got uh, some Raider haters. jerseys that they can burn, too. If they don't have that <laughs> 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 it's kind of so, crazy because so, so, when, so when you hear this, about it, is too. this like the like the women's movement of the sixties where they start burning their bras? Yeah, but this is where they can actually die. No, no, shot. I I know, but like akin to that, you know, the same kind of like liberation movement, like you know what the fuck, and 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 you know what? If that's what it is, it's about fucking time. I, you know what's I mean, crazy about Iran is in the nineteen sixties, they were they were very open. Did um, oh I know. All the way up you, until the seventies. It wasn't until um, the. You see pictures. You see pictures of back then. It looks like a fucking utopia. Yeah. So these these women, and not even just the women, but a lot of the people, they're they're saying things that are a little bit more harsh. Um, talking about you know like they want the Ayatollah dead, they want the prime minister or whatever the hell they call him um, dead. Uh, they're they're really pushing back. Uh, they're they're the police are trying to crack down on it, and it's only making it bigger. They shut the internet off in the entire country, like try to lock them out from the rest of the world. And uh, somehow, several foreign countries are finding ways to get them that access back. Um, Is Elon Musk gonna like? I was gonna say there was Skylinks. There was a discussion of Skylinks. In in this scenario, wouldn't that just make more protests happen? Because like, once you take the internet away, what else are you gonna do while you're taking a shit besides think about where you're gonna protest? What they what they thought they thought (laughs) the protests would grow because they're like, oh, if they don't see the protests on their phones and on the tablets. Then they won't. They don't even know that they're happening across the country, so they won't show up for protests. It probably reduces their ability to um, communicate, to, organize, to mass, right? Yeah, to organize. Yeah. This hasn't um, been. This isn't, hasn't been the first time that Iran has stepped up against their government, though. This has popped up multiple times throughout the decades. Um, more recently, I know the Arab Spring was mostly in Egypt, but there were some uh, offshoots of that happening across the Arab world to include Iran. You know, there's what do been you think? What do you think happens groups. here? Like, cause the, the, this, I I know I know what you're talking about, but I don't think I ever saw a protest where they're going against all of their laws. Like, not just they're not just risking because they're speaking out a little bit. They're they're doing shit that literally could get them killed. So they well, um, so they're any looking type for like of total reform. Over there. What's that? They're looking for total reform. Then, I mean, they've been talking about total reform for years. It's just how do you get it? Right. Um. We we. With we knife. actually, Lee and I went to school with an Iranian uh, guy, and he he's a brilliant man, really good person. His family, I, don't know, I wouldn't call him brilliant, but yeah, uh, he is. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, <laughs> he's a good guy. He's brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. He's, uh, he's, yeah. he's over here. Oh, he's he's, over here. Thank he's, you. he's fucking he's brilliant. Some, he's doing. He's doing well with himself. He's, no, no, he's biting you know. his words right now. Is what he's, he's doing. doing better than us. So that's why I say that. But he, uh, I mean, like. Yeah, he he talked about this. This is back in two thousand eight when we were going to school with him, and and he, uh, I mean, what were his changed. brilliant words that he said about it? Uh, he put a lot of brilliant words out there. What, what, was, his, what, what was his <laughs> brilliant he stance said, on this like, topic? Freedom. He said freedom a lot. Yeah, um, yeah he also said freedom that. fries. He was articulate. Uh, <laughs> Free, freedom happens when uh, when people stand up for their freedom and freedom then they fries. demand freedom and yeah, and that's where freedom. freedom comes from. I guess freedom, freedom fries. Yeah, so I mean, what are, what do they do? I mean, outside of the protests, are, is it going to take? I mean, I I would always think that I would assume that it's going to take an international intervention. So why why is it that we are supporting Iran in this, but yet Saudi Arabia, who is our fucking largest asset we kiss in that region, they are fucking. They have some of the most like inhumane laws in Saudi Arabia against things like Does women. Iran and have oil. Our relationship yes, with Iran and Saudi is very murky right now. Saudi Arabia uh, as to is which part side of the, uh... we're siding with it is very blurry. Um, it always is, but we I mean shit, we went we went to back we went to war for Saudi Arabia 
just yeah, fucking then, two decades ago. Kashab Ashabi or whatever his name is, the the Kishogi? reporter Kashogi. After his, he got cut up and put him in body bags. We kind of so, turned on Saudi. Nobody Here's, cares. I, nobody I'm going to give you an actual answer. I'm going to I'm going to give you a clear and answer. And then and then and then oh when we just had this oil crisis, we went back to Saudi. And now we're we're kind of butting it up with them again. So that's what I'm saying. You, you understand it's because OPEC is in Saudi Arabia. Like that's that's your answer, Greg. You don't have to go any further. It's oil. Okay. It's oil. OPEC okay. comes out of Saudi Arabia. OPEC answer, controls all the costs for the entire world. The global pricing comes from OPEC and how they deal with their fucking supplies. It has a ripple effect to all of us, regardless if we're buying it from them or not. Well, so, and, yeah, and they buddy buddy up with them because they want to keep us. I, okay. I, well, Iran and, has and, and OPEC is based, too. And, I, and OPEC is based on the dollar, right? And we Iran want them, like, they, we want them to continue to use the dollar as their basis of currency. Right. I'm rich, man. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we're... we're this is mm-hmm. the world that uh, that we live in, where Saudi Arabia is allowed to be a piece of shit country, also, and we just have to accept it, right? That's what we get told. And what over God, I can't remember the exact count, but I think, uh, I think what two thirds of the hijackers on nine eleven? Do you know where they came from? Saudi, Saudi Arabia. fucking Arabia. They ain't come from fucking Afghanistan or I'll Iraq. Look, I'll look the know? other way on that. Let's just let's just head to Iraq instead. Mm-hmm. Where's oil come from, right? Yeah. Huh? Uh, I don't know if I get assassinated because this is kind of a media thing, but not really. Um, then you'll know it's from Saudi. I'm just want to let you guys know. We got Khashoggi. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I know. Right? Right? <laughs> terrible way to go out. Just cut yeah, you up and throw you into Raider gear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Russia and Greg out China? on the fucking stage. Someone China China the best way to go on, on on both those countries and try to buddy up with them. So. Yeah, that whole, it's that whole region is very interesting right now because if they switch off the dollar, then that destabilizes our dollar. It is it so funny unstable, the countries right? that we support and the others that we don't. It's, you know? Yeah, it's kind of disgusting. So this yeah. this movement, do you think it actually there's any anything that comes from it? I hope so. I I don't know if it will, but I really hope something comes yeah. from it. You know, yeah. we'll see. I support everybody that's protesting against Iran and everything that Iran their their government stands for. Those are uh, good people. There's a beautiful history there. The, you know, brilliant people. <laughs> brilliant people. They're all fucking I would, brilliant. I would say they're, they're all, fucking brilliant. They're all good, polite good, people brilliant. that say hello <laughs> and goodbye yeah. and sir and ma'am. They're, they're no, but I mean, honestly, this, the, the kids there, the kids that are our age and younger, they all want, you know, some kind of democracy there. They want to have the freedom to be human and they want to modernize. They don't want to live in this fucking weird religious fucking, uh, you know, what do they call it? Uh, autocracy. Wait, I can't even say it now. Either way, they don't like it. The dictatorship. <laughs> Freedom fighters. Over. Yeah. Um, America. Hypocrisy. America only knows hypocrisy. democracy, so I can't really say it. Hypocrisy. Yeah. Uh, no, not hypocrisy. <laughs> Autocracy. Son of Autocracy. A bitch. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. But they have to Sucks. do it on their own. So Did you guys hear about? We have to stay out of it. Ooh, ooh, that, that, that is true. That is 100% true. They, they need to make their own revolution. We cannot go over and interfere. Including you, you little CIA people. Because so, I, uh, I know we're I know we're getting close. Don't I, you I fucking say that shit. I'm not going to oh, say it. Was anyway, my last week you guys talked a little bit about left. Prop 27. I got a story. It'll fill up all five minutes. Last Let's week I heard you guys say, oh, we got Prop 27. I don't really know what this is. It's something, something, something. The point that I was we trying to get across. Prop 27 for two weeks in a row. We're done. The only reason I wanted to talk about this is because what you guys were missing on the point of this is that this is a this is the legal gambling state or statewide for California online. And the only reason it's really anything is because there are very, very rich Indian casinos fighting against Native major American. corporations. And and well, they, yeah, and they're very, very poor reservations that are saying, hey, man, that's not cool. We could get some revenue from this. That's what I was trying to point out. That was it. So wait, wait, wait. Prop twenty seven is just so they can gamble in California. Yeah, so you can have um, what, FanDuel and yeah, you know, all of those can come to California. It's online the, sports betting, and they're marketing oh, it as a cure for homelessness. But why? Th- that's fucking stupid. First and, off, yeah, but and the, then secondly, how does that help the the Native American tribes? Well, how does how does what we're doing currently with the uh, Pachungas of the uh, of the state? How are those helping those uh, Native Chinga. American tribes? But but here's here's the problem. But here's the problem with that that premise, there, Rick, is mm-hmm. that you're gonna have more open competition. You're gonna have MGM. You're gonna have Caesars. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have Harris move in over to mm-hmm. California and, and open sports books, and they're gonna they're gonna online wipe, sports books. They're they're, they're gonna destroy those. They're I hope gonna so. destroy the Indian casinos. I hope so. So that's gonna add more poverty to these these areas. Okay. 
So you right now, what you have right now, and most of these Indian reservations or Native American reservations that you're looking at, um, the money is funneling into a very, very, very small amount, and it's a family, right? Yeah, Indian. did I offend you? Said you? I said Indian, Indian again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But <laughs> the Native American uh, reservations, the money is funneling only to a small amount, and then the rest of the reservations mm-hmm. living in poverty, living like shit. That's true, right? And there and there's no way to stop that unless you can spread that out again and say, hey, man, again, we talked about this last year about uh, uh, like reservations. Like, me. why don't you come be an American? You know, it sucks that we did what we did. And we took your land. But the sovereign nation thing's not really working out for you. Let's uh, let's give you the resources you need to be successful. We we aren't getting that because the, that's labor for those casinos. They are not getting paid well. They are not living no. well. And and with a sports book coming in and bringing some kind of competition, regardless of who they are, I'm not a fan of them making their money either. I think that at least opening it up to to where there is some kind of competition may actually, if potentially they they say they earmarked some for social services, that's why they they're touting the homeless thing. But they did they earmarked some for that. But I mean, fucking eighty percent of it's going back to the sports books anyways. These but if a little bit of money does back. something. Nothing is coming from those Indian casinos. There's all you're going to do is find a whole bunch of fucking volleyball facilities on Indian reservations. Nothing now. is coming back from those reservations. All you just said rerouted. Indian now. You just said it. You said Indian <laughs> reservation. I, I don't but tend to be woke. <laughs> legitimately, the money the money doesn't come. It, it, you're not seeing the money go to anybody right now except for the end of the pockets of these certain rich families that started these casinos You know, way back in the day when California gave them the right to. So why not try and break up that horrible fucking cycle and give these people a shot? Overall, because they're not going to have a shot at all. They're not going to have oh, a also, shot. Also, I don't want to drive three hours to go to some shitty little casino that only has table games. I would much rather be able to sport, uh, you know, gamble from so my it, phone. It, so at the end of know. the day, it comes back to Rick. No, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, like, yeah. when you look at it, why not? If I'm going to gamble, I'd rather do it from my house. Look, I'm looking at a Morongo ad right now from Monday yeah. Night Football. Yeah, and it's right. like, who wants to drive out in the middle of fucking bumfuck? To and you are making my point for me well, right you know what, now. You know what, Rick? It's These not casinos that they're located there. Exactly. No, it, that's where their reservations oh, are. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's where that's where their ro- their their reservation was placed. Yeah. That, that that's the shitty land that the U.S. government gave them, so they're making the best they can. Sorry, it inconveniences your. Okay, first ass. of all, they're not making the best they can because so, again, the rest of that reservation. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, yeah, Those people they, are living in fucking shanties. Every, every well, the people every, that every, actually own the casino on reservation are living off the reservation, doing the best they can. With, with how many how many of those casino owners are living Where on the guys, talk? Did you guys know that you're actually arguing a point where it's a bipartisan decision to be against it? Well, no, but they're both liberal, so they're just eating each other. I'm no, 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 I'm not against it. Like... I'm actually, I'm a hundred percent for this proposition. Oh, you want to vote I'm, yes? I'm, I want it to happen. I want it to pass because I'm fucking sick of these filthy fucking assholes that don't even live on the reservation. They're Correct. just fucking making money off that reservation, and these people are not getting any of that. But money. at the end of the day, you just want to be able to gamble from your home. Yes. No, I have not. That, I don't that, gamble. That, that's, that's, it that's was really, a joke. Yeah, that is but really it was a fucking line. joke. Art, I don't fucking gamble. I don't give a fuck about the gambling. What no, I give a fuck the, about is that, that, you're getting the, the bottom, money, and it's that, going into one monopoly to, to the next monopoly. That's all you're so seeing. Angry. Yeah, so what's the point? I never get the money. I love it. Keep going. going. Why should we Keep give going. these fucking little families, these little in Native American corner. families, all that money and not be able to distribute it? Somebody, we can't handle what happens on a sovereign land, right? But if the money no. comes back to the state, it might be able to be redistributed out oh, to everybody. Oh, cause, cause but we can't do that, right? The state does a really good job of handling Are they doing anything with the Indian casinos now? What's, no. what's the Indian casino money doing? Nothing. It's going into just these families' hands who and don't so live what? on that goddamn so, reservation. So what? I don't care. Now Twice. it's so, fucking so, Indians. So what? Me. It's their fucking offended. money. Let them do what they're the fucking going to do. What are you going to do with all the other poor people on that reservation? Dude, but you know what? So There's what? nothing that I can do. Them? There's nothing I can do. You know, you want to know why? Because all that shit was done way before mm-hmm. our time. And so when we can make a change... How, how that, can because the, just, first of all the gambling is you, only you think, thirty you, you years what, old. What, whatever money is going to get split up into other corporations is really going to go to them. No, you know that the casinos have only been around since the late eighties, right? The, you know all that money is just going to go to the uh, to the sports books. There's well. a lot of money going to the sports books, but the taxes exactly. from that are going to come back to the state. They oh, are going to go and back to one what? reservation. What, what, well, so what has the, the state done to rectify homeless situations so far, Rick? Uh, the state of California uh, specifically. You, not a goddamn thing. You don't think that we haven't done anything? They've done things, but why is the homeless we are situation in the middle getting of worse in California? Stress. Oh, because we have better weather than Nevada. It's a better place. No, but why? Why? No, 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 no. Like, comparing if I'm California, homeless, I'm living on the beach. I'm, I'm comparing not California the to town. California year over year. Why is the yeah. situation getting worse? It's expensive to live here. 
It's expensive to do anything around here. There are not enough jobs that pay well enough to be able to live here. Okay, so, so, like, so that's but, gonna but be your, your, your argument is right that here. the money from this gambling is going to go back to solve these problems. Even Why is that problem not right, being solved correctly? Already, you guys have one of the biggest um, mm-hmm. agricultural centers in, in the country. You guys have the entertainment industry. You already have plenty of things to tax to, to reallocate money back mm-hmm. into the homeless. Why is that not being done already? So you Why don't does think gambling revenue? This, why is gambling revenue the thing that's going to do that? So it, 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 what I'm trying to understand here is you think that they haven't done anything for homeless people. No, I'm just that's asking what, what have they no, done? No, what, what I'm telling what, you what is, has is worked? Is, is, is they haven't letting, done enough. What, what I'm telling you is letting these these corporations come in and get a slice of, of the Native Americans pie is mm-hmm. not going to do enough. No, it's not. If, but it's if, a if step it, forward. But it, it, it's not it a does, step forward. If it does anything at all. Okay, so let's say that that the money, the revenue is $100, and I get five of that, and it goes back to the state. That's $5 more than I had fucking here, here, I, I'll, I'll, see, I'll casinos, use Nevada right? as, as an what example. What do I do with that $5? Brick, here, here, we'll use Nevada as an as a example. A couple of years mm-hmm. ago, and Greg will remember this, we legalized marijuana. They said that that tax money was going to go back into our educational system, and now it's going to fix us from being as stupid as Mississippi to being semi-educated out here. Yeah, we're that 48th money, now. That's not done anything. It's not done that. The money has not come back into our educational system. It was a fucking bullshit lie. So then the state can make more fucking money. Same situation is happening in California. So as much as I don't like Gavin Newsom and I don't like any of these people, I just looked up what the fuck has California done for the homeless back in 2021. They did sign. No, 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 shut up. They put $12 million in investments over two years to tackle this by adding 42,000 new homeless housing units, which is still not enough for as many homeless people as there are, right? How many you're, bus you're, tickets you're putting, did you get come to Vegas? Only you're putting the carriage for... ahead of the horse, man. But, what, why what is the mean? situation getting worse? What do you do with worse? the homeless guy? Why is what the situation do? getting worse? Why is there because more homeless people on the street today? We literally said that five minutes ago. What? It's too expensive to live here. Okay, so, so you can do all these things, but if they're not effective, are you doing mm-hmm. anything? Well, then we could just put them on buses and ship them to Nevada, right? It's cheaper there. We can ship them As to you have been doing for cool. years. Yeah. So, you guys already again, that shit. You, you 10.3 billion to the, in affordable to the housing, housing funding. So they did put that out there. there. There's shit that they did. It's not enough, but they did do something. But it's not working. It's been a year. It hasn't even been a year. So shit takes time. I would, I would argue that a lot of the same factors as to why people are homeless apply both to Native American reservations as well as they do non Native American reservations, right? So why are people homeless? Well, there's there's a multitude of differences for that. For the Native Absolute Americans, abuse. a lot of their fucking exactly that's one of my points. Yeah. Yep. They're the land that the government gave them was shitty land. Right. It was. It had land with no natural resources on it. We didn't give them any resources to kind of help them, you know, to handle Modernized. their business and and you know, um, so the only way out that they saw was the Indian or Native American reservations, right? Or uh, casinos. But, and you, you, it's so funny, Rick, you're so liberal, but you literally gave the whole explanation for Reagan's trickle down economics and look how that worked, right? But because there's no way out for a lot of these people on reservations, like Duper says, substance abuse is high, right? Suicides are high, you know, and That's if these the people health, don't yeah. see a way out, then. They're not going to prosper, nor are the people going to want to prosper, right? I mean, if people are stuck in a shitty situation their whole lives, I mean, very few people get out of that for a multitude of reasons, right? And then right. and then you take out their biggest revenue stream, and it's only going to get worse. Yeah. Do they get it? But the point is, that's not a revenue stream for them. That's for what some, I'm But, to but it, it does provide food. It puts some food on the table. It does something for them. It might not be ideal, but it gives them purpose. It gives them something to to go to work and do right and it gives them an option so then they can continue to work on the reservation as opposed to going off the reservation to work within and the normal why, why don't why don't we as a federal government assist them in developing things outside of the casinos right i've why been don't, saying that you know why you don't we that do last thing, year though like we renew the reservations to better land well see and, and that's that's all very tricky right because if it's their land who who Who's to say yeah. that we should be doing anything with it? Well, well we, we don't have really to, do but we it, can right? provide them resources. Like take, for example, you know, renewable energy, right? Renewable energy is like booming and it's only going to continue to boom from here on out, right? There's talks in Pennsylvania about, well, let's retrain these coal miners in Pennsylvania on how to make, you know, wind farms and, and solar panels and things like that. 
we can do that with those types of reservations as well. I mean, provide the, the training that, and the, the resources. Day, that's up to them. That's, that's up to the, the tribe exactly, leaders to make those decisions. Exactly right. But right. shouldn't we do our part to provide assistance if they want it beyond the gambling space? Because Rick's right, right? I mean, people, casinos, I don't know, man. I think they're starting to die off. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. But I've talked to a lot of people who visit Las Vegas, obviously, and more and more of them are coming here either for conventions or for shows. Entertainment. Right? entertainment is huge out here. Very few of them, you know, are at the table. Oh, for the, the, entertainment, the, the club the industry and, and the entertainment industry actually makes more money yeah. than the gambling revenue today. You know, but and 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 art, yeah, I mean, can we give them better land? Maybe, but um I, I mean where where everybody's land is now and what is on, that's gonna be a bigger hurdle. Um, than it is to just kind of give them training and resources and give them help to c- overcome things like substance abuse and things like that um, and suicides, right? Um, give them those types of resources and, and let them see what they come out with the land that <laughs> they already have. Hey, do you guys love a con- good conspiracy theory? Huh? I got you. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I like how he plays it during Rick and Art argue. I make up one two minute point. And he plays a video. <laughs> no, this is fantastic. <laughs> and so, so this goes back to my Lemmings conspiracy that that we did some time ago. And so this conspiracy is uh, going to be a little bit contentious. So hopefully nobody quits the podcast right now. Oh, uh, Stacy Abrams faces backlash for claiming six week fetal heartbeat is a manufactured sound. Uh, Democratic candidate uh, oh, of God, Georgia go. governorship is facing a fierce backlash after a clip surfaced of her declaring that there is I'd no really such thing. I'd Native Americans again. <laughs> no, 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 no. And we're, not gonna talk, we're not going to talk about that topic. Okay, we're going gonna, we're gonna, to we're gonna stick to, to the conspiracy serial, conspiratorial serial. part of this. Okay? I like conspiracy so, serial. Um, after a clip surfaced of her detec- Ooh, declaring that there is no such fall, thing as a fetal heartbeat at six weeks and insisted that it is a manufactured sound Designed Dude. to control women's bodies. I like Hollow Earth cereal. <laughs> I got a question. So, do you guys think that the sound that the ultrasound makes is a manufactured sound? That's the conspiracy coming from this. Is that a conspiracy? <gasps> <laughs> Did we destroy the universe? Reptile yet? <laughs> REM tried to warn us 15 years prior to that with a little song called it's the end of the world as we know it that is and if we're so conscious i mean are we really that right what if someone's col- uh, controlling the collective consciousness i i experienced that i experienced that once with my stepsister <laughs> <laughs> it's still my favorite part of this whole thing I, I wait for that part yeah <laughs> i just uh i know so. it's coming every time and i'm so excited hey dude so how how is your stepsister she's still stuck in the washroom <laughs> So, is it a manufactured so, sound? Is it a manufactured sound? How, is there any science behind it? Is anybody said how they get the ultrasounds? Like, or is somebody just talking out of their ass? Yeah, it's, it sounds like she's just kind of talking. I mean, out of their ass. Th- I mean, I guess there, there's some. Th- so, there's some truth to it. So, at six weeks, the heart is not fully functioning within the fetus. Um, that the heart that there is there is heart movement, but it's not a, a regular heartbeat yet. It's not found its rhythm. And then also, I guess the valves are not properly functioning at that time either. I mean, getting rhythm is a tough thing. Like, it takes us a long time to get in the groove of things. I mean, yeah, it gets I, you. I the rhythm, rhythm is going to get yeah. you. Just rhythm rhythm. Gonna get you we'll never have a rhythm. It's okay. Yeah. So I mean, are, are abortions allowed on Native American lands? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't they know. They can make so much money. <laughs> I, I, it's a sovereign, sovereign you're land. Right. You're right. Put the right they can do whatever way. they want. They were like, "Fuck your federal." That's laws. a very good question. Pretty Fuck much all court. Pretty much all of Oklahoma is is uh, reservation land. Is it? Yep. Mm-hmm. And they allow it? Uh, yeah. I, well, I they're know. already making thirty four billion dollars a year in the casinos. I looked that up. So why not fucking add to the the deep pockets of those pieces of shit that run everything and don't give the money? Why, back why are you calling Native Americans pieces of shit? Yeah, Rick. The, you don't the like the Native Americans? Families, the how greedy families that are keeping the money away from the poor. Is that racist? Native are Americans are pieces of shit. 100%. Native Americans are pieces of shit. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. Did you say that? Did you just say that? Wow. wow. Cool. That's not like, what I said, but that's fine. That's you just exactly said what you said. I said the greedy families that are taking all of that money oh. and not redistributing it to the rest of the poor Native Americans on their reservation are pieces of shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't take you well, out of I'm context. I'm sorry. I forgot like we others. can't say that 
any of them could be pieces no. of shit because the, uh, they're Native American and they live on a reservation. It's okay. No, no, I, I They get agree. a pass to whatever they do. You simply misworded it, I think, the first time. Um, I agree with that, and I think that happens in our society as well. Well, we know it happens in our society, but I'm just saying, when it comes down to, you know, they spent $400 million to oppose this proposition. That's like the most expensive fucking proposition in history. Just And it was the casinos that put that money up because they were well, so they fucking worried. They put $400 million up of their own money to make sure that those families continue to make their money and not redistribute it out to the so, reservation. So we can sit here and we can argue it all day. Uh, well, you or all night. Yeah. You, you and Art can argue it all day. Yeah. I, I, I think it would be more impactful if we went and asked Native Americans on, on these tribes if they want that revenue stream to continue to come into their communities. I, I think that's really where it needs to go to. I'm willing go, to go talk to the people. Let's do this. All right. Road trip. Let's go, Rick. You and I. We're going. We'll take we'll yeah. take Lee. So they'll be like when when is prop twenty seven so it's the on the ballot devil. this year? November. Like, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys seriously want to go? Because we can go. Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking down. Let's go. All right, we'll let's go, go talk to we'll, him. We'll go to Pachanga and Morongo. Yeah. Well, I'm you not, don't want to go not, to the casino. Yeah. We want to go we want to go into the city. Yeah, I want to actually yeah. see the town. We're gonna go yeah. talk yeah, to people in the town. We're going to the reservation. Yep. Go into the reservation and talk to talk to the local. I think there's actually I think there's a reservation between our houses. Okay. Cuba. Yeah. So let's do it. We'll might have be able to meet halfway. Camera. I think it's halfway. Okay. Yeah. The, let's actually do this one, though, guys. Let's I'm set down. a date. <laughs> <laughs> set a date. Oh, what what plan for our podcast? Not this weekend. Know, Not this weekend, but how about the weekend after? Let's go do Sounds it. Sounds good. Uh, I got a Rams game. <laughs> <laughs> what about Saturday? <laughs> Maybe. See this moment. Let's here. discuss this off. We gotta talk this offline. We'll figure this date out. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'd say check out the website, but it's currently not up. And what check out the merch store that we don't have, and then check out uh, social media stuff and hey, YouTube clips. Josh wants to say something. He's holding the mic. Oh, no, I'm just holding it. Are, are you about <laughs> to? <book three? laughs> it he looked like it. he was ready to say something. He picked the mic yeah. up, put it all close. Like, all right, it's I was just gonna say bye. He, he was just <laughs> thinking about those prosthetic titties again. Yeah, oh, I was. Oh, I want God. Josh to bust into some fucking freestyle, like eight mile style. What's yeah, up, son? Do this it. world like a reject. Do it. Remember that rabbit. Take a look around, Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Call him B Bunny. Remember, do you guys remember the rapping rabbi? What no. was that? Twenty years ago. Uh, Modest, Modest Yahoo? Yahoo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he wasn't a rabbi. But yeah, yeah. Whatever. He's just an Orthodox Jew. Yeah, he was pretty... good too. Yeah, yeah he's good. badass. I saw he's him at the, uh, isn't he? I'm at Coachella. He's good. Was he? Yeah, he's still around. Yeah. That was his nickname, though, right? The rapping rabbi. Oh, dude. Rabbi? All right. I forgot to tell you, the fucking gorillas were amazing. Dude. Just want to throw that out there. Great you guys show. Whoa. Totally just sidetracked the fuck out of our goodbye. Yeah. Edward Snowden, is a, Edward Snowden is a Russian citizen. Right, Go bye. see the gorillas if they come to your town. Bye-bye. Bye. Pray for Ukraine. They're doing good. Huh. Titties! Oh, shit. Here goes the mic. I need a goat. I need a goat. I need a goat. Right, I need a goat. I need a goat. Here I am. Here I am. Let's, let's try and get one. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Rub it out, buddy. Just rub it out. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Thank you for listening to the show today. Please uh, go to takewarningpod.com where you can explore additional po- content on the podcast, as well as find the links to the podcast on your favorite uh, podcast platforms. Also, please get on social media. We are on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Take Warning. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you like about the show, what your thoughts are on the show, and what you would like to see in a future podcast. I get you on my- the beauty